I mean, if the right person comes along, great. But I, I don't need a man to be happy. I didn't realize that about you. On Mrs. Contini's questionnaire, there's a box about that. <laughs> Anybody for barbecue chicken? Oh, I'm afraid we're out of charcoal, honey. Oh, who needs charcoal? That's what these letters are for. Now, if I can just... I knew we were dancing in a local bar. When all of a sudden, I heard a deep voice say, <clears throat> May I cut in? Well, when I turned, I saw the man I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life with. George. <laughs> uh, no, no, Thomas Penville. Uh-huh. Well, after Thomas and I left the bar... Blanche, I could get... Believe it. There's a married dead man in my bed. <laughs> Serves him right. Ma. He lied to her. I don't know why they do that. Don't they know we'll sleep with him anyway? <laughs> What am I going to do? I can't tell her her husband died in my bed. Tell her you want to turn on the... Tomorrow, I am going to a scalper, and I'm going to buy four tickets. You better make that three. My final exam is that night. Oh, honey, it's too bad. Oh, well, what difference does it make? My social life's gone down the drain anyway. All I ever do is study. You know, it cannot be good for you. It's unnatural. It's unhealthy. It's... Unlike about 12 hours on your feet waiting tables? Honey, that is gritty, grimy, grueling work. But it's work. It beats the hell out of feeling sorry for myself. And it'll be a lot nicer to fall asleep from being tired than crying. Of course it will. Oh, Rose, honey, Rose, I am so... I, of course not. Of course not. I'm strictly cheerleaders, wild parties, and hot tubs. He stands. Before I forget, a deal's a deal. Here's your 50. That's okay, Sophia. This one's on the house. Be feeble. <laughs> if I can find the living room. <laughs> Dorothy, what just happened? Well, weren't you listening? Sophia came in and asked Dorothy to drive her to the mall for a blood pressure test. And then Dorothy told Sophia that they were, had a date to go out to dinner Friday night. And then Sophia said oh, that she and the... You were a lesbian. <laughs> Yvonne, we want to join a gym. Well, what kind of exercise are you interested in? Oh, nothing radical. Just yeah. lose a few pounds. Yeah. Tone up. Yeah, slim down. Get into my summer wardrobe. Get into my winter wardrobe. Get into my bathrobe. <laughs> why, oh, why can't grief take a holiday? Oh, it does, Rose, it does. Eventually, it comes to Miami like everyone else. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't believe it. Barry Glick is in town. Oh, I haven't seen him since high school. Uh... Amy. Nice work, Dorothy. Wasn't me. Sweet Jesus, am I in trouble? And however you answer, I'll believe you. Did you tell John Noretti to go away the night of my senior prom because you didn't like the way he was dressed? Well... Liar! <laughs> you knew John showed up that night and you didn't tell me and you didn't... Ma, lie down. Just lie down. Lie Dorothy, down. what if I'm having a heart attack? You're not having a heart attack. How do you know? You're not a doctor. You're not having a heart attack. Why do you think you're having a heart attack? I'm 80 years old. I got Pavarotti sitting on my chest. Odds are it's a heart attack. <laughs> the doctor was out, but they're trying to locate him, so I called the paramedics, and they're all... One's pinching your bottom. <laughs> you're a lucky girl, Dorothy. I hate you. <laughs> Oh, this is just crazy talk. I think we've only been seeing each other for three months. I've never even thought of what it would be like if I were Mrs. Kenneth Whittingham. You girls were right about getting miles on my turf. Oh, Blanche, and I'm really grateful for your steering the table talk to things I know about. Well, you ought to be. It wasn't that easy working natural fertilizer into the dinner conversation. <laughs> what are you planning next? 
I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. He said that tomorrow he wants to introduce me to his family. Now, if that is not the last step before a marriage proposal, I don't know what is. Oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> oh, girls, I'm so excited. Uh, Just imagine being Richard's wife. Uh, I would be married to a gorgeous, intelligent uh, man. I'd, I'd be living like I'd even entertain the notion that he's slipping away because he's, he's homesick for this godforsaken place. <laughs> going on? I think he recognizes the picture of Uncle Hingleblotter's farm. Oh, my God. Then he is homesick. I'm a murderer. I, I'm... I was stewing all day. Maybe you're right. An active day out on the town with a handsome young man just might take my mind completely off old what's-his-name. <laughs> Floyd. <laughs> okay. Come on, Swin. It's Sven. He's mine now. <laughs> hello, Mrs. Bornack. My name is Dr. Ravel. Oh, hello. I'm here to tell you that Dr. Ashton won't be able to perform your surgery tomorrow. He's been subpoenaed in a malpractice suit. <laughs> a lot of really neat knots. <laughs> Dorothy, guess who's here? My date. Your husband. I don't have a husband. Call the police. Your ex-husband. I'll call the police. Hi, everyone. It's me, Stan. Dorothy. In the future, I would appreciate a little advance notice when you're expecting... No, I think I'll watch TV in my room. Before you go, before you go, call this number. What is it? A phone number. I met him at the supermarket. He asked me to squeeze a melon for him. He's missing a few fingers, but everything else seemed to be intact. <laughs> Ma, forget it, forget it. The dog is all yours. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why is there a big hairy beast in my house? My guess is because he bought you dinner. <laughs> well, Blanche, I gotta run. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, it's as if she doesn't care about my knees just because she's a lot younger than I am. Fine, keep your damned earrings. <laughs> oh, no, no, Blanche, not you, Abby. Oh, right. I was thrown by the she's a lot younger than you part. <laughs> so what should I do? Is that a legal serve? Everybody seems to be having such a good time. You know, the more you stare at everyone, the... The more natural it seems. Yes, I have been thinking exactly the same thing. Hey, why don't we just put our inhibition pockets? That's a great idea. I bet I could use a little friendly persuasion on that gentleman. Persuasion? Hell, this isn't for dinner at the Rainbow Room. This is for ten big ones. Give him whatever he wants. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I just didn't realize how much I wanted that money. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am Congress. Honey, we just saw Stanley leaving. Are you all right? Actually, brunch is what I miss the most. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, come on. Let's take that extra step today and go to that supermarket. You won't be sorry. Jimmy, the world is filled with wonderful and exciting people. I'll take your suggestion, Mrs. Taylor. I'll play the Jackie Mason tapes at half speed, but I really... Let's be Yeah, it's a boy. Dorothy, what are you doing up so early? Never mind that. It has been over a week. Now, what is that mutt still doing here? I know I promised to take him back to the pound yesterday, but he wasn't feeling well. Frankly, Dorothy, I'm a little worried. Don't worry, it was a hangover. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, that is really funny. I mean, that is funny. <laughs> it's even funnier the second time. <laughs> Ditto! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, Dorothy. Yes, we're so Clayton is a hobo? <laughs> no, Dorothy.
Stanley, Stanley, don't worry. I'm 82 years old. My bones are brittle. My muscles are atrophied. My circulation is worse than U.S. News and World Report. <laughs> There's no physical they can give that Sophia Petrillo can't fail. Uh, oh, <sighs> darling, I do feel something for you. I think maybe I always have. I knew it. <laughs> but I don't believe it's love. Not the way you mean it. The only thing we've talked about tonight and ever since I got here is George. Now, I love... What is it now? Habit. <laughs> Give me that. Listen, Ma, I've made a decision. I think we're gonna have to get a nurse to take care of you until you're well. A nurse? Why can't you take care of me? Normally I would, but I have that education conference. Well, when I saw your mother again after all these years, something happened. We talked, we laughed, we held hands, we fell in love. Actually, we got a hot dog before we fell in love. But the point is, we're crazy about each other. And if this turns out to be a mistake, what the hell, we'll probably be dead before we find out. Two, you seldom bump your head. Three, the world thinks you're cute. You think Danny DeVito got to be famous with his good looks? There's nothing wrong with being small, kid, but it is wrong to cheat. If you learn in life to follow the rules and play fair, you'll be heads above the crowd. <laughs> Laszlo, we came over for you to decide once and for all which one of us you want for your statue. Rose. I knew it! It's me! Walk suckers, he wants me! <laughs> Rose, he just wanted to say something to you. I wanted to say that I would rather not decide at all. Oh, but Laszlo, you've got to. It's the only <laughs> Well, now you know how it should look. Dorothy, is this a good champagne? Gee, it's hard to tell. The two for seven dollar sticker is covering the year of the feathers. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Dorothy, but the welcoming committee is on a budget. Now hurry up and finish arranging those flowers. Mr. Vaughn's gonna be a rock. <laughs> Mail call. Oh, oh, Rose, you're here. That's good. I am absolutely snowed under with this wetlands thing. And as usual, I know I can count on you. I'm sorry, Dorothy. What? But Rose, you always help out. Oh, I gotta get some sleep. I have to get up pretty soon. Good night, everybody. Good night, honey. Good night. Boy, we really have a problem. I know. The police are doing nothing about my jewels. <laughs> Not that. There is a woman in there so terrified something is going to happen at night that she's... Did you make me go and get all my shots? I had to lie to you and tell you we were going on the pony rides. Yeah. And you fell for it time after time. <laughs> Just like Pavlov's dog. <laughs> Only dumber. Okay, okay, Ma, if you don't want to go to the doctor, you don't have to go to the doctor, all right? There were a lot of disappointed people that night. Well, I wasn't one of them. Neither was your father, if memory serves me correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so, you think this cake is ready? You know, Roberta's gonna be here any minute. It's ready when it's ready. Oh, well, it doesn't make any difference. She won't be surprised anyway. Well, oh, surprise, birthday parties never work. Talk forever. Oh, God. Al. I'm all right. I'm okay. Al, the big jerk. <laughs> I loved him. He was a decent man, you know? I know. <laughs> I don't feel any tingling. When's it gonna hit me? <laughs> Sophia! I was making a souffle and it got away from me. <laughs> she sees the portrait and is insulted. It looks nothing like her and she storms out of his life forever. That peasant girl was me. And that painter was Pablo Picasso. <laughs> 
blind man, you're certainly observant. Have a seat. Thank you. Your secretary told me you were meeting somebody here, so I, I won't keep you, John. I just thought we ought to talk. Blanche, if you've come to apologize for last night, I understand. Well, I, I'm, I'm not sure you do, John. I like you very much. Dipped his toes in the lake known as Blanche. <laughs> That wasn't stupid enough to deserve a hit? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? No. Put your... This, but I think Rose got the brains in that family. <laughs> Meet me out front, Dorothy. I'm gonna pull the car around. Look, hold it, Ma, hold it, hold it. I told you last night, we don't do any dr <laughs> Let's go to Emilio's. <laughs> T-minus 10 seconds, Oh, Dorothy. Ma, will you give Nine, it up? You eight, are not seven, dying. Six, there is not five, going to be a four, doorbell. There three, is not going two, to be a pop. One. There is not going to be anything. So humiliated in my entire life. Oh, come on. You've been humiliated plenty. <laughs> When you tried out for cheerleading in high school? Ma, why do you constantly look for ways to amuse yourself at my expense? Because we don't have cable and I can't crochet. Lynn's a bore. However, I just happen to have access to a sailboat tonight. Could we interest you in an evening cruise? Oh, I'm game. What about you girls? Sounds like fun. Why not? Great. We'll get everything ready. We'll meet you back here in 45 minutes. Oh, Perfect. Fun. That'll give me enough time to call my mother. <laughs> Your mother's still living? <laughs> I was happy to see you here tonight, Rose. I was starting to wonder how you felt about me. Rose, is there something wrong? You've hardly said a word. You can't buy from a scalper. That's a crime. Well, so is eating grapes at the supermarket, but you do that all the time. <laughs> I have to test them. Rose, one is testing. Fourteen is brunch. <laughs> Good Lord, I'm a criminal. Fine, as long as you already have a record, I can count you in. One day or night. <laughs> Okay. Bye. I'm alone? It's, it's going to take a while for everybody to get used to this. So, what do you say? Will you marry me? I want to get my life together. I mean, I'm, I'm really no good being single. J just look around. Yeah. I... It was hard to get my daddy angry, but once you did, he could be a real peck of wood. <laughs> What's everybody talking about? Uh, I can honestly say I have no idea. We started out talking about Mrs. Claxton's funeral. Yeah, but somewhere along the way we segued into... Robert Goulet for all I know. It's not important to the story. <laughs> anyway, the Rolls Royce moves on and the girl finds her pepperoni is missing. <laughs> what happened to it, Sophia? Bambi ate it. How should I know? <laughs> you keep missing the point. The important thing is... She has no pep. I just love wedding. Oh, me too, me too. You think you'll ever get married again? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Me neither. How about you, Blanche? Oh, absolutely. If the right man ever came along, of course, he'd have to have the body of a Mr. Mel Gibbs and the personality of a Mr. Johnny Carson and the financial resources of Mr. Me, you have to promise me that you're going to be okay. I don't want anything to happen to you. I want you to be around for a long time. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I'll be around. I'm going to have my head frozen. <laughs> so are Dorothy and Blanche and Sophia. And some... What's wrong? What makes you think there's something wrong? Oh, please, Stan, we were married for 38 years. You can disguise your bald head, but you can't hide your emotions. <laughs> now, what's wrong? I lost it, Dorothy. <laughs> You never had it, Stanley. But 
I joined this mammals with blowholes thing. I didn't expect to be carrying picket signs on some grungy dock. I was hoping more for a fundraiser cocktail party with Chinese lanterns and Portuguese, no, Hispanic waiters in tight black pants. <laughs> Those are mine, Sophia. <laughs> oh, well, let me put on my big surprise face. <laughs> oh, I just wish there was something we could do for the poor thing. There is. I want to sort... to move in the furniture. Well, the weather's cleared up. I, I really think we should save a big project like this for a rainy day. Now, we agreed we weren't going to waste time. That'd be a big mistake, something we'd regret for the rest of our lives. Rose, we're eating pizza, not getting tattoos. I've decided what to do about Stan. I mean, how can I just forget all the time that we had together? And then how can I forget the... The pain and the hatred that I felt when he left me, I... I can never trust him again, and if, if you can't trust your husband, then what kind of a relationship? That is our... Oh, you make me sick. <laughs> oh, I am home, dear, dear friends. What a glorious night. Dorothy Spornak, I just hate you. There you go again, rubbing it in. How I'm having a sex drought. You were all in the kitchen. Why did you keep asking me if I'd lost this wallet with 50 bucks in it? <laughs> My mom, the eternal Girl Scout. <laughs> you were very quiet on the way over. You gave me a lot to think about. Oh, come on, you had to see it coming. I just didn't expect in a restaurant. Things we've said on our way to a restaurant. Things we've said on the way home. The two restaurant. of you shared. We get it. <laughs> but who was I sharing with? If you say something to somebody who isn't really who... Ma, this is serious surgery. Surgery is the easy part. The tough part is after. Who's going to take care of you? I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Well, think about it. You live alone and no one likes you. <laughs> Be nice, Ma. You'll come here to recover. Not that nice, Ma. Just because a hospital vending machine screws up a lousy cup of coffee doesn't mean that the hospital did anything wrong. Oh, sure. A mistake like getting two babies mixed up makes the headlines. But the point is, statistics back me up. Hospitals are remarkably efficient institutions. I mean, seriously. I am serious. What do you think I should oh, do? Oh, come on now, Blanche. You know the difference between right and wrong. Please, and bet she only knows the difference between right and left. <laughs> Honey, why are you still wearing your costume? I didn't have time to change. I couldn't wait to get out of fear. Did your friend die? <laughs> Rose, he hasn't come here yet. Oh, well, you certainly look black. <laughs> but Rose, Rose, did you get me a partner for the bowling tournament? Sure did. You're all signed up. Okay. It's him. Want me to get it? <laughs> Girls, I've got big news. I found something Melissa and I can do together. I have entered her in the Little Miss Miami pageant, and we're a cinch to win, aren't we? Hit it, sweetheart. Hi, my name's Melissa, and I'm five years old. Need you let me or one of the girls know? Wait a minute, let me get this straight. She's the housekeeper, right? Right. But she's not supposed to lift a finger, right? Right. If anything needs to be done, you take care of it, right? Right. Where are you going, Ma? To get a job as a housekeeper. <laughs> Ma, Ma, be serious now. Marguerite is dangerous. That southern accent of yours really comes and goes. Grits, all right? <laughs> that grandmother of yours is really a sweetheart. She sure is. <laughs> Bless her heart. How do we get rid of her? What, uh, Tana, are you making a pass at me? Yeah, if I strike out, I strike... And 
I'm afraid if we make love, I'll kill you. If you haven't made love in 15 years, that's a possibility. <laughs> Rose, Rose, don't worry about it. Listen, I had to check up a couple of times. About the perfume, about the... Uh, about the funeral arrangements. We'd like something simple, tasteful, yet... Incredibly clean. cheap. <laughs> Let's get down to brass handles. Ladies, I'd like to present to you the winner of the 1985 Crypt and Casket Design Award. Paris is... Dorothy, I was lying in bed eating, and if I don't get up and walk around, I'm going to become as big as a hippo. And life, if I can still call it that, has to go on in one form or the other, so here I am. I'll just spend my remaining years in the company of women. <laughs> Only reason I'm sticking around is to read Danielle Steele's next book. <laughs> this is all because you're going through the... Good. I'm an expert. Didn't I tell you I used to work in a malt shop when I was in high school? Soda jerk? No, thanks. I'll have a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you going to have one, Doc? Oh, no. Listen, after you've worked... And they're harassing me. Murderers are free, rapists are free, but a poor widow on the floor, they try to lock up. <laughs> Who'd I hurt? Me. Now look, Rose, this is it. We have had it. No mace, no tear gas, no grenades. No jewelry. I won't be neek and I've lost one of my best friends. Oh, come on, Rose, you haven't lost one of your best friends. Sure I have. It's too painful to talk to Blanche. So I figure she can be my landlord, but we'll stop being friends. Oh, now, Rose, that's not what you really want. Honey, you're sacrificing something very important to you over a mistake that was made years ago. Friends? And then when I turned 16, it seemed like everything changed overnight. I shot up and out, the braces came off, and finally the boys started to notice me. And it was nice to be noticed, to be liked. Oh, baby. Honey, you've been trying some concoctions. Yes! <laughs> it's called Gnurkenfurt and Cake. <laughs> it's an ancient recipe, but I Americanized it. Yeah, so one might say you brought Gefleurkenerken into the 80s? <laughs> yes, but I'm not one to blow my own Vertuvian. <laughs> Rose, you're just incredible on Miami Vice trivia. I've never met anyone so smart. <laughs> Ed, for a policeman, you've led a very sheltered life. Come on, everybody, we're going home. I just put popcorn in the microwave. Oh, listen, Ed, I'm sorry. You're a nice guy, but I have to go. We've grown very close the last few days. Now, listen, no one calls her Ma except me. You got that? Have I made that clear? Dorothy, come down. What did I tell you? I knew it would get under her skin. <laughs> it means you won't get your diploma. Yeah? Well, you have a big behind. <laughs> oh, Rose, Rose, please, let's try to keep this at an adult level. And if you want to talk behinds, they could show how the West was won on yours. <laughs> One more thing. Your boyfriend was looking for you. Sam? He wheeled himself out here just to see me? Yeah. I don't get it. He must see a side of you that's hidden from the rest of the world. <laughs> like the dark side of the moon. You're just jealous because you know you can never have me. <laughs> Dorothy, you're not moving. It reminds me of our wedding night. <laughs> I don't want to dance with you. Dorothy, please, this is really important. Today, Ted called the airline and booked two seats for Acapulco. What does that mean to you? That he doesn't have a truck. <laughs> yes. Dorothy, will you marry me? Oh, Lucas. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. No! No! No, no, no! No! <gasps> what in hell is wrong? Hello? The honeymoon is over. We're back. Don't let Ma know I have been smoking. She will kill me. 
Ma! Dorothy! <laughs> what was that for? You've been smoking. I have not. Then you've been smoking. No, I haven't. Shrink, that chicks really eat that stuff up. <laughs> anyway, Catherine and I fell in love, and on the spur of the moment, we decided to get married. The wedding is a week from tonight, and you're all invited. <laughs> I talked to the kids. They said they're going to try and fly in. Well, I gotta go now. I'm on my way to surprise Catherine with this. Astronaut, except for, well, you know, that eye thing. <laughs> I've been working for this Meals on Wheels program, Dorothy, and I need a driver, please. Oh, all right, Ma, I'll cancel banjo eyes. <laughs> Don't worry. There'll be other dates, Gloria. <laughs> Is that all you Italians know how to do, scream and hit? No, we also know how to make love and sing opera. <laughs> Mom, you had no right to hit him. Oh, Blanche, I'm, I'm experienced that I'll always keep very close to my heart. And that these are memories that I'll wrap myself in when the world gets cold and I forget that there are people who are warm and loving and... Rose, I don't think I'll be needing it. Well, okay, Miss Know-it-all. <laughs> but if Alex Trebek asks you what years Ulf Harwald was on the student council back to back, don't come crying to me. 1946 and 47. I intend to win this. <laughs> It's the same thing. <laughs> Dorothy, you want to hear my idea? You won't believe it. Sorry, Blanche, I can't. What's the matter, Dorothy? Uh, I don't know what to do. I just don't know. I was in front of the class and I couldn't talk. I was too... Hi, Dorothy. What are you doing? I'm grading the history test. How did I do? You'll find out in class tomorrow. Can you give me a hint? No. Did I do better than Boris Yashenko? Oh, Rose, Boris Yashenko doesn't speak a word of English, and he was hitting the forehead with a mortar. So am I, so is Blanche. All right, so... <laughs> you have a few more wrinkles. So do I, so is Blanche. <laughs> All right, you're a little thicker around the middle. So is Blanche. <laughs> Chimes. Oh, she loved wind chimes. Had them in every room. And my balcony. Oh, I remember as a girl of 10, I used to wander out here and all the little boys from all around would come and serenade me. I see London, I see France. I see benches under pants. Hard way. Kenny, come here. What's with this clown business? Couldn't you be a lawyer and just hang out with clowns? Oh, I know it sounds a little odd, Mrs. Petrillo, but right now I'm just burned out on law. Frankly, at this point, I think I can contribute more to the world in big red shoes and a spinning bow tie and carrying a little umbrella. Lord, so I suggested they take them. Blanche, both Rose and I told you not to interfere with their social lives. I know it. I just thought it might be fun for them. Oh, being set up on a date is never fun. In Sicily, everything is set up. Dates, marriage, death. Especially death. <laughs> That's why whenever I go into a restaurant, where's Fino? Ah, uh, Fino uh, is, well, uh, Finito. He was killed, quite ironically, in a banana packing plant. Why was that ironical? Excuse me, I'm, I must have made a mistake in my English. It was quite comical. Oh, all right, but I warn you, it is very simple. Huh? What do you think? I think you're my best friend, so let's change the subject. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's exactly what I would have picked. That settles it. It goes back to my... <laughs> There's a gate. <laughs> I've pretty got a hernia coming over the wall. I'd... Wait a minute. Look, I've, I've messed everything up. I'll just get out of your life. What I can't believe is that you went through all this. Rocco, you always treat me like a queen. Top mental. My daughter may be no spring chicken, and her jaw might crack when she chews. 
and she may have noticeable trouble digesting raw vegetables. <laughs> but one thing she's not is mental. Thanks, Mom. Miami sorted sex scene. Who's to blame? That's her. She's the one. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't about Blanche. And now that I'm associate producer of Wake Up Miami, I have to come up with topical show ideas for Sweeps Week. I need something that'll give us really big rating. It's a chocolate soft drink. <laughs> I never had one. <laughs> you know what? I bet if we had to, we could do a pretty good job of raising Emily. I don't know if we'd have the physical energy, but I'm sure it'd be a lot easier for us after all we've been through. What are we... <laughs> See you girls later. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Sophia, you look younger than ever. Thank you, Stan. And that's a beautiful toupee you're wearing. There, now we're both liars. <laughs> okay, Stan, let's get this over with. Yeah, well, okay, here's a copy of the tax return. We'll go over each... Top mental. My daughter may be no spring chicken, and her jaw might crack when she chews. And she may have noticeable trouble digesting raw vegetables. But one thing she's not is mental. Thanks, Mom. Decision? <laughs> We're very sorry, sir. Uh, nurse, do you know what happened to uh, Mrs. Devereaux? Oh, uh, Mrs. Devereaux canceled her surgery. She checked herself out this morning. Lasagna or cannelloni? <laughs> oh, Ma makes great lasagna. I can never get mine to taste as good. She says it's because I don't sing to my marinara sauce. <laughs> That's her secret. She sings opera to her sauce. Except, of course, during the holiday season when she sings Nat King Cole. <laughs> was named Lindstrom. I used to make it for him on his birthday and other holidays. Wait a minute. Your last name was Lindstrom. You named your cat Lindstrom Lindstrom? Yes, it was less confusing for him. <laughs> I'm gonna clear the stuff from inside. She's something. Oh, a real pistol. The energy she has. Look at this meal she made. It's just sprinklers and you found them on the lawn. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, Rose. <laughs> Well, I've never had to do this before. Tell a wife that her husband's been cheating on her with me. That's the hardest thing ever to have to tell anybody. Oh, no, it's not. How about having to tell a pre- I don't need to pry, but maybe I know a way to get Norman's attention. If it involves silk sheets and a parochial school outfit, I've already tried it. <laughs> Here, take this. It's worked for my grandmother. It's worked for my mother. Dab a little behind your ears and whomever you desire will come to you. What is it? Oh, Rose, hi. Listen, I just picked up these pamphlets at a cosmetic surgeon, and I want you to help me decide which alterations I'll get. <laughs> Blanche, none of these women have any tops on. Well, I know, honey, these are the after pictures of Saturn. <laughs> That's why I named it that. <laughs> Magenta. <laughs> No way to really explain it, but fortunately, between friends, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. Dorothy. Here's J.C. Penney's. <laughs> where everybody starts making fun of the fat lady underwear. <laughs> what do you suppose it means? That you spent too many years sleeping on curlers. <laughs> Ma, you can't sleep either? No, I'm sleeping so good I thought I'd come... I've known plenty of women who've had strokes. Some of them are in very bad shape, but they're still babies. <laughs> but, Rose, this stroke destroyed the part of her brain that censors what she says. So she just says whatever she thinks. She can't help it. He's an okay petunia. <laughs> Ma, Ma, the cab driver said you promised him a 60... Stanley. Uh, Doc. You shave a little beard. Still 110, Stan. <laughs> you must be Dorothy. Please, come in. I've heard only good things about you, Doctor. <clears throat> you want a hug? Maybe later. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Did you happen to see a little old lady go by? You mean the one who said, what are you staring at? I can buy you and sell you? Went that way. <laughs> Ma? That accent, you could almost buy it. <laughs> and you must be Sophia. Your face looks awfully familiar. Was your picture ever on a cigar box? <laughs> Ma? No, no, she's right. That was my father. May we continue, Commandant? <laughs> my family once abused. <laughs> He got lucky, and they now live on Maui. Oh, it's really wonderful. A 65-year-old man with gout learning to windsurf. I hope... And it, no, it's because of your warmth and understanding that I got through this. I never thought I'd find happiness ever again. Some marriages don't work out. But some do. You're right, Rose. And that's why I think that I can still patch things up with her. Stanley, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? You're ruining the biggest thing. That happens a lot with people when they retire. Maybe you should talk to them about it. Maybe you're right. Hey, everybody, I found the perfect guy to convert the garage. Follow me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> everybody, this is Vincenzo. Ma, who is Vincenzo? <laughs> Dorothy. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop, but could I have a copy of this? <laughs> All right, I was fat. I can say it. Uh, but only because I blossomed into the extraordinary woman I am today. Well, Big Daddy didn't care. He always said I was beautiful. The funeral is for a neighbor. Oh, well, my condolences. Oh, no, there's no need. We didn't like her. In fact, the whole neighborhood despised her. Oh, I see. Well, how did she pass on? She killed her. <laughs> Rough neighborhood. Uh, look, uh, Mr. Uh, Pfeiffer. We always did our own plumbing on the farm. Of course, we didn't actually get plumbing till I was 18. <laughs> Rose, tell me something. How difficult would it be for us to repair that bathroom ourselves? Well, it wouldn't be difficult at all. Oh, forget it. Forget it. It's a crazy idea. You got that right. <laughs> ah, so what are you two doing here? I thought you had a Spanish class tonight. We do, but we're not going. We dropped out. Well, what about your promotion at the counseling center? Oh, I can just forget about that. Norwegians are notoriously bad at Spanish. I guess that's why there were no herring tacos. <laughs> and it was a... Dorothy. Gloria. Stan. Good news, Dorothy. I'm off the monkey. <laughs> sure. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I feel lightheaded. I think I'm gonna... Marquee at Caesar's Palace. <laughs> rain, rain, Rose. Where is that idiot Stan? Angela will be here from the airport any minute. I don't know where he is. You know, Stan's always late. He was even late for our first date. And then you were late. <laughs> Lord knows I've tried. Blanche, look. Rose, please, I do not need a lecture. I am a klutz. I can accept that. I guess it's no big thing. You're just awkward when it comes to your body. <laughs> what do you think? There's something about her I don't like. Me, too. I find her hard to talk to. Me, too. She thinks I'm dumb. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> He still regrets half a century later. His conclusion, life without risk is no life at all. Sophia, tell Vincenzo that's a wonderful story. Tell him he helped me make the most important decision of my life. 
I'm gonna call Al and tell him I'll sail. He's bailing us out. I lost Butter Queen. Haven't I suffered enough? <laughs> we'll we'll draw straws. No. We'll flip a coin. No. Sophia, we had this all settled. Now try and be understanding. Understanding? I came down here to bail you out, and you're still not letting me go. Ma, will you stop complaining and get us out of here? Where are your roommates? Blanche, I took her to the airport so she could catch a plane to be with this guy, Miles. He must really be something. So is Rose. So, either of you ladies care to dance? Doug, you left here with another woman. You were going to take her to your place. Now you come back here and ask us if, if we... Oh. <laughs> Sophia, I came to get you. Forget it. You kissed this pleasure palace goodbye when you stole that money. Come on, get ready. You're going with me. I've got a brand new Harley Davidson out in the driveway. I didn't know you could ride a motorcycle. I can't. I pushed it away. Waving that gun around, although it is a very nice one. <laughs> what is this, a cold? Oh, I knew all along it was a bad idea to let Miles stay here. Oh, I'm too young to be struck down by a madman's bullet. i got to find some way out of this. I'll get it. <laughs> And no one makes a sound. We all... Oh, you did. How dare you? What kind of a woman do you think uh, I am? Come on, relax. Relax? Don't you tell me to relax. <laughs> I am not accustomed to being manhandled. I thought you'd be flattered. Well, I'm not. Pardon my strong language, but you, sir, are no gentleman. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Mama, you have to accept me for what I am. You have to stop trying to tell me how to run my life, otherwise I'm gonna have to leave again. No, honey. Oh, you know, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, I love you just the way you are. Everlast past. I beg your pardon. Um, nothing. I'm popcorn? Oh, no, no, thanks. So, um... You think he might still be in love with his ex-wife? Well, they're still good friends. I mean, he talks about her all the time. Wait a minute. Aren't you going to ask me why I'm sitting in the dock? I already know. Your birthday's this weekend, and you're depressed about being older. No, I'm not. I'm depressed because you give me such lousy birthday presents. <laughs> Ma, you want better presents? Adopt Monty Hall. <laughs> I wish I could. I do that for Sophia. She seems to get a big kick out of calling me names, so I let her do it. <laughs> She's really a very sweet lady. She just doesn't like to show it. Is that a family trait? <laughs> you won't believe what happened to me at the store. I saw the McDowells. Well, luckily, they didn't see me. Honey, are you all right? I'm fine. Oh, Rose, honey, can you ever forgive us? Well, it all depends. Will you believe what I say from now on, even if it isn't what you want to hear? Oh, of course we will. Will you believe me when I tell you that somebody... Blanche. <laughs> now, don't forget, I'm going to see you later at the book signing. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can get a copy of your book there. Well, it just so happens. Oh, is this it? Vixen, Story of a Woman. Ooh, catchy title. Would you like me to sign it? Oh, sure. Call all over the world free of charge, except for Albania and North Korea, of course. In your television remote, you can use it to raise the windows and flush the toilet. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna run over to the freeway, see if there are any cars in trouble. <laughs> this guy knocks me out. Chuck, do you think you could finish our dishwasher first? I'm not, Chuck. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm more confused than ever. Good night. <laughs> Honey, is there anything at all we can do to help? Oh, well, this isn't solving anything. I'm going to call the manager. Hello? Hello? Great. The phone's dead. Uh, it makes no difference. You only get lies from that scum-sucking pig. 
Look, would you mind going downstairs and telling the scum sucker we want to see him? Okay. Partner dancing, up close and personal. Rose, what I didn't tell you was, when I was five, Mama enrolled me in a tap dancing class. For six months, we practiced. One hour a day, two days a week. And I was good. I was cute and I was good. Real good. You, I, I'm sorry. Listen, I went to the bank and I got something for you. It's a gold watch. It's Charlie's gold watch. I want you to have it. What this is, you jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good buddy. <laughs> no, no, Rose, it's more than just a, a friendship ring. It's, it's just that I want my ring on my girl. Are you saying what I think you're saying? All alone in some dark, cold box oh. six feet under. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Dorothy, chin up. Posture's important. <laughs> She's alive! By the way, Dorothy, I saw that video of you falling into the gorilla pit to America. Stan, you're wearing my robe. Tell me about it. Which one of Stan's angels forgot to pick up my dry cleaning? Oh, well, she's... <laughs> I just love it when we all get together like this. <laughs> You celebrate your way, I'll celebrate mine. <laughs> this month, he couldn't set the handbrake on my wheelchair. Grandma, that was just a coincidence. Please, all three times was at the top of the stairs to the Flatbush subway station. <laughs> Mama, if Salvador hates you, why does he want you to come here and live with us? What? Salvador and I would like you to move in with us. Forget it, I am not moving in. What? Oh, Rose, good God, my heart is still pounding. I was just in an accident. But don't worry, I'm all right. I'm okay. Oh, thank God. Any damage to your car? Well, that's the one bright spot. I had borrowed yours. <laughs> my car? You didn't ask if you could borrow my car. Well, I guess we both learned a little bit. Oh, way. great, great. Dorothy, do we have heart disease in our family? No, Ma. How did Uncle Mario die? Oh, don't you remember? He was carrying out the garbage and dropped his gun and it went off and shot him in the forehead. Oh, yeah, right. What a klutz. <laughs> Didn't Aunt Teresa have a heart attack? No. People only use the uh when a really big storm is a coming or a brewing, so grab a sack and start a shoveling. Ma, the weather report said nothing about a hurricane. Ida Pearlberg, down at the senior center, woke up this morning with a leg cramp. Need I say more? <laughs> Last night. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Barton. Mr. Barton. Well, looks like you had a little bad luck here. Boy, we certainly did. Any damage to your place? Nope, not a scratch. Oh, thank goodness. If the wind had been blowing in the opposite direction, your tree could have fallen into your living room. What do you mean, my tree? <laughs> she means your tree. <laughs> Goodbye again. Bye, darling. Oh, Dorothy, I'm so glad things worked out. Oh, me too. Maybe you're not a grandmama yet, but you're still a darn good mama. And Kate's gonna be a darn good mama too sometime. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, somebody say something. <laughs> Big help. Dorothy, what about you? You're always the sensible one around here, the free modern thinker who keeps up with the times. Now, what do you think? Tell us all about the big weekend. And don't leave out a thing. I want you to start with the sweet nothings he whispered in your ear. Well, okay. Uh, first, he said that I was a very attractive woman. Yeah. And then he said I was fun to be with. Yeah. <laughs> and then he... Oh, morning, Ma. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. I dreamed I was making love to Jay Leno. <laughs> That's a strange dream for you to have. Not really. It was Monday night and he was filling in for... She's 125. 
You can't fry the yogurt out of her hands. Uh, I'll get the papers from my office. Okay, Sophia, let's go. Go where? That's not Lillian. <laughs> you said you were Lillian. You think I'm in here? Hello? Oh, yes. Yeah, hello. Um, no, I'm sorry, I can't discuss that uh, right now. Yes, I enjoyed it a great deal myself. Really? <laughs> yes. I mean, ever since I was a little girl, when I first heard my parents whispering about the St. Olaf Slasher. <laughs> Slasher? Yes! Oh, he terrorized St. Olaf for months. In the dark of night, he'd sneak into an unsuspecting farmer's field and mercilessly slash his scarecrow to shreds. I'm busy. Busy? It's sunny, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm just confused. I, I need time to think. You take all the time you need. But before I go, I want you to know something. I'm so glad we had this time <laughs> together. <laughs> Just to have a laugh or sing. Angelo, actually, we've all been deceitful, too. Stanley and I are divorced. I hope you're not disappointed. No, I'm a thrill. I never liked him. He's a yachts. <laughs> and we're not. <laughs> And the others were good, too. My friends and I all liked it. You see, Dorothy, I knew my ending wouldn't hurt the play. Oh, no, the show is a big success. <laughs> In fact, the library's been busier than ever. Now, the kids are really getting excited about reading. Where's Blanche? She should see this review. Arm. I am pretty good at that. Oh, you could charm the pants off anybody. I have to believe that, otherwise I was easy. <laughs> But, Dorothy, it's, it's different this time. Sure, sure, I've scraped the bottom of the barrel before, but this time I don't even have a barrel. Oh, Stan, will you stop whining? It's pathetic. That's the most... Especially to such small children. I wasn't sure I could do it. In fact, I wasn't sure I even wanted to do it. But then I got to know the kids, and I realized they aren't the issue. The real problem is... I'm third in your life. Richard... You know your work comes first, then the children. in a restaurant. Things we've said on our way to a restaurant. Things we've said on the way home. The two restaurant. of you shared. We get it. <laughs> but who was I sharing with? If you say something to somebody who isn't really who... What's inside a pit or a pearl? <laughs> This is a 25-cent nectarine. Fine. Sold. Well, don't stand there like a bump on a pickle. Give the man a quarter. <laughs> it's Scandinavian for someone who so docks his boat in a handicapped slip. <laughs> <laughs> there is no Well, I think it's time that man was exposed for what he really is. I'm going to go over there and tell him off right now. Blanche. Oh, him. I love you, Josie. I will. The possibility that Sophia might be right. Maybe Emily has been abandoned. Yes, officer, that's correct. Yeah, and we've been trying to reach them all out. We'll look into this first thing Monday morning. It can't wait. You're right. We'll do something immediately. We'll, uh, we'll fill out a form. Must be one in here somewhere. It's okay. Sexual discrimination, sexual education, sexual harassment. Okay. No. Oh, come on. I can't sleep. My bed's never been so cold. Especially on a Saturday night. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh. Get in. Oh. Oh. Listen, did you hear that sound? Yeah, and as long as I'm in my own bed, I'll do what I want. <laughs> It 
in Mr. William Shakespeare's masterpiece, Macbeth. Oh. I feel sure after our date, he'll make a decision in my favor. Oh, wait. come on. Now, Blanche, you're not just using this guy to get a part in a play. Of course not, Dorothy. I'm going to let him use me to get a part in a play. <laughs> Blanche? Blanche? Does he have a friend for Dorothy? Oh. We know this is... <laughs> Blanche, I took her to the airport so she could catch a plane to be with this guy, Miles. He must really be something. So is Rose. So, either of you ladies care to dance? Doug, you left here with another woman. You were going to take her to your place. Now you come back here and ask us if, if we... Today it's my turn to choose, and we are not watching another world. Oh, you are undoubtedly the meanest sick person I've ever met. Not to mention the most unattractive. <laughs> We have to watch TV anyway. There are plenty of other fun things we could do. We could play cards, listen. Boy, there is nothing more frustrating than waiting for one of these suckers to rise and it just won't. <laughs> That's no reflection on you. I know why you you again. How have you been? A little lonely, but I'm better now. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I cannot believe how much I've missed this little girl. This guy is growing antlers. <laughs> I guess I better say goodnight. <laughs> I, I had a very nice situation. Sophia, we've come this far. Just think about the money. Think about it so hard that you block out everything else. Especially him. Hi, I'm Timmy. What's your name? None of your business. Leave her alone. Ma, the nurse won't... I'm stunned. I'm relieved. <laughs> relieved? Well, sure, the woman you saw in those horrible drawings must have been dark. <laughs> It's got to be one of the worst days in my life. Not one, but two of my best friends just... You know, there's an old Italian saying for times like this. Scappa, tu si mal fortuna. What does that mean? Get away from me, you bad luck. <laughs> Weasel of a manager wouldn't budge an inch. He pushed us to the wall. Now it's all out war. What do you mean, Ma? Tomorrow morning, all chow wagon employees over the age of 70 are officially out on strike. You're gonna pick at the restaurant? No, Rose, we're gonna put on war paint and shoot flaming arrows at the covered wagon out front. <laughs> he knows Phil like a book. No charge. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Don't think I don't know what you all are getting at. You think the advice I gave was bad just because it devastated four lives. Blanche, when are you going to realize you have to be responsible? This isn't a game. You're playing around with the emotions of real human beings. I've made a decision. I'm going to go see Tony. Don't do that. Now you have him right where you... We agreed we weren't going to read any more of Rose's diary. That was only because we couldn't pry the lock off again. <laughs> then I remember we had these pliers in the tool drawer. <laughs> People coming through. <laughs> oh, what is all this? With this heat wave we're having, he's got them stacked up like firewood in all four locations. Oh. Hi, girls. Hi. Is she here yet? Who, Rose? My sister. I left you a note on your bathroom mirror. Why did you leave a note on my bathroom mirror? Because it was the only one that had enough steam. <laughs> Rose. Oh, oh, oh. Dorothy, I'm scared. I've never seen Rose look so terrible. I know. I'm worried, too. Will you two knock it off? I'm telling you, there's nothing to worry about. Well, what did I do? Well, you made us fire Marguerite. That's what. Now she's put a curse on us. Come on, now. You're just upset. You're talking nonsense. Well, it makes perfect sense to me. I rest my case. <laughs> Come on, Dorothy. You have to admit terrible things have been happening since we fired Marguerite. 
Our plum. Judge Devereaux, Rose Nyland. Pleasure to meet you. Sit down, sit down. Well, Barbara, <laughs> Dorothy tells us you're an author. No, I'm just a writer. Malamud's an author. <laughs> I thought Malamud's were chocolate cookies with marshmallows. <laughs> Her pouty lips, her flaxen hair, her flawless alabaster skin. Her proud breasts seem to be saying, is it just me or is it cold in here? So? Pouty, flaxen, proud. What do you need, a photograph? This book is a... Why not? It's all over between us. He'll know that tonight. It's impossible. I'd, I'd feel like a... I feel like a... A... a Backstabbing slut? <laughs> no. <laughs> then please. And just like that, it stopped. Mind over matter. You can do the same thing, Rose. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Of course you can. You just have to think positively. That's right. Listen, why don't you go to your room right now and start working on your speech, and then after a while you can try it out in front of me and Dorothy, okay? Okay. Yes, go on. Go on, Rose. I think it's nice when kids take turns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Blanche, honey, could I see you in the kitchen for a minute? Oh, sure. Yeah. I'll be right back, Glenn. I think you'll be okay. So, Glenn, how come you cheated on your wife? Wow. <clears throat> Straight to final jeopardy, huh? <laughs> like me. <laughs> no wonder I can't concentrate. I need a break. I need a change of scenery. I need to hit Wally's bar for ladies' night. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Don't you girls wait up? Hold it, Blanche. I don't think you should go anywhere till you finish your homework. Oh, I'll just be gone a few hours. We'll get right back here. <laughs> so, what did you do? I walked into that gymnasium on Benjamin's arm. Heads turned, jaws dropped. Why, the room was buzzing all evening. I didn't care. I had followed my heart. <laughs> Is there any chance I could persuade you girls to join me for a murder mystery weekend? Blanche, are you kidding? I have read every word Dashiell Hammett and Raymond Chandler ever wrote. Now, Sam Spade and then Philip Marlowe have become a part of me. She had more curves than the Monaco Grand Prix and was... We're going to see a game. Mama offered to drive us over to Vero Beach to see the Dodgers play. Jeremy's a big baseball fan. Becky's a bigger one. Becky's a bigger everything. <laughs> Not everything, Jeremy. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. I'm usually not like this. I've been using your toothbrush for months. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I just love wedding. Oh, me too, me too. You think you'll ever get married again? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Me neither. How about you, Blanche? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if the right man ever came along, of course, he'd have to have the body of a Mr. Mel Gibson, the personality of a Mr. Johnny Carson, and the financial resources of Mr. No, nope, she's still mad at me. I'm not mad. But if I were, I'd have every reason to be. Rose, come on now. You're about to swallow your chin. <laughs> It's just that the invitation to dinner should have come from me. I asked you three times in this past week to invite Dr. Newman to dinner, and you always put it off. I didn't put it off. I... I... How much? Two bucks. Get wild. Treat yourself. Uh, give you a dollar fifty. What does this look like, Baghdad? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's no way to sell things. Some stranger's word over mine. I'm not going to stand for this. Not in my own house. I want you out of here. Oh, Blanche, you don't mean that. Dorothy, she doesn't mean it. I do so mean it. I'll be out as soon as I can find a place. Blanche, you can't just throw Dorothy out on the street. You just watch me. Oh, doesn't matter. You'll lose a parent. You might as well be six. It's scary. And it pushes you right up to the head of the line. I know. Oh, God, I don't know what I'll do. 
I love that lady so much. The right man could be just around the corner. Well, and he may not be. I may turn around a dozen corners and not find anyone. So, instead of trying, you're just gonna give up and do this crazy baby thing. Crazy baby thing? What I am doing, Mother, is taking control of my life and have- Now, isn't somebody going to say something? Ma? Angela? Fine, I'll wait. You know what I think? That reindeer really know how to fly? <laughs> Call his mother. Blanche, what are we going to do? Do you think I should call his mother? I really think you should. All right, I will. I don't want to send him back to an unhappy home, but we're grandmothers. It wouldn't be fair to be this old and have to raise children. Or I do. Let's find out exactly how much I love you. Oh, come on. I love you more than that. Stan loved you more than that. Love, love, love that woman. Uh. Well, I'm off. Wish me luck. You can't catch what Dorothy has. Well, then it must just be sympathy pains. Ooh. Blanche, we're going to be late. Now, come on, let's go. No, I don't think we ought to dance tonight. Rose is just not right. Now, we ought to be down at that hospital with Dorothy. Sophia's with her. She's out of surgery and she's fine. Now, come on, let's go. Before you begin, I want to tell you something. I'm no novice when it comes to major negotiations. Oh, really? Let me tell you a story. Picture it. Sicily, 1922. <laughs> An attractive peasant girl who has saved her lira embarks on a glorious vacation to a Crimean... It was small consolation to find out years later there had been churn tampering involved. Blanche. Rose, Blanche and I are going to the other end of the cell. Don't cross this line. <laughs> worry about that now. Well, sure you can, honey. I'll help you. Food, clothing, shelter. Oh, come on. It's not that serious. Yes, it could be. Rose, you and I are in the same boat. If we miss a couple of paychecks, we are in big trouble. Thank God I had the foresight to marry money. Tramp. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Ma. Thank you. And this is my mother, Sophia Petrillo. So, you're Stan's cousin. Please don't hold this against me. She's okay. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Tell me, where's Stan? Oh, Is he parking the car? I take taxi. Stanley and I have disagreement. Oh, what about? He saw himself... <laughs> Blanche, I have looked all over the house. Oh. I cannot find your earrings. But I found the Julio Iglesias tickets. <laughs> Boy, we had great seats. <laughs> Blanche, I feel just awful about this. Oh, just forget about it, Rose. I never intended... I'm sorry, I only date officers. <laughs> Norman, would you like to play with the potato head? Sure. What do you feel like doing? <laughs> known each other a long time i mean things like this just 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 happen there is nothing wrong with two people showing each other how they feel we're just friends we're scum herring balls <laughs> oh it's Father, my, my, this must be an important cause. Don't you usually make the nuns ask for money? <laughs> well, I've decided I've been acting foolish about this whole thing. I guess I still look pretty good. Pretty good? You look terrific. I know. I also decided to try and be a bit more modest, but in this case, that's like lying, which is worse. So you're right, I do look terrific. <laughs> oh, well, thank goodness that's over with. It's you should get to keep Mr. Ha's kidney. <laughs> Me 
That's right! And now it's time for the Mr. Ha Ha Birthday Roundup. When I call your name... Evan Ayami was out cleaning the street with his tongue. <laughs> Sophia, we live in the greatest country in the world. A country founded on the principles of honesty, truth, and fairness. I am certain that once we present our petition, the democratic system will prevail, and our noble endeavor to save that mighty oak will prove victorious. You certainly sound pretty calm. Sounds like you've already made up your mind. I guess I have. Oh, but I feel awful about leaving you guys. I feel like I'm breaking up the three musketeers. Oh, honey, you go with your heart. We just want you to be happy. I am happy. And I want you to be happy. That's why I want you to settle down. <laughs> All night long. His side of the bed looks like a murder took place. Rose, Charlie is dead. Why tell her? <laughs> Coco, it's 15 years. You know he's dead. I'm not crazy. I just like to talk about him in the present tense sometimes. Makes him seem closer. That's fine, Rose. Oh, now, come on, Blanche, this is ridiculous. You can't stay here all night. You're going to have to eat sometime. Oh, this is where you don't know me, Dorothy. I can go for days without food, if that's what it takes. Oh, come on, Blanche. I, you've been known to... No. It was a nice couple of months. I'll miss him. Think he'll remember me? I don't know. I'll remember him. I finished the scarf, you know. Oh, Great. Listen, next time we go to... out, if you don't absolutely love it, I'll take it back. Well... No questions asked. What the heck? You only live <laughs> once? Then might as well be daring. <laughs> Rose, it's a used car. It's not a seat on a space shuttle. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Blanche, I need you to give me a manicure. Rose, I need you to lend... <laughs> And you remember that time Big Daddy caught us skinny dipping with those boys? And you told him it was our Bible study group just practicing baptizing. <laughs> <laughs> it would have worked, too, if you hadn't come up screaming, Hey, y'all, things look bigger underwater. <laughs> oh, Frank, come on in. Ma, Frank Nan. Frank, my mother. Hello, Frank. Ma, Frank is uh, directing the production of Henny Penny. Well, not anymore, I'm not. One of the kids in the play came down with the measles. And because the audience is going to be children, too, the entire cast has been quarantined. Let me keep my room, and I have an interview with McDonald's today. If I can see over the counter, I'm their new fry girl. <laughs> What happened? My brakes went out, and the car wouldn't stop. Oh. My whole life flashed before my eyes, and the neuter flocking twins played a bound twip ticket. <laughs> you can go back and, and continue to live your life. But before you go, I have two pieces of advice. Don't get hit in the mouth with a steam shovel. That can kill you. <laughs> and make the most of the time you're given. You'd be surprised how... I don't want to see another Monday. I don't want to wait and end up going like Lydia. I'm going to decide when it's over. I always thought somebody named God did that. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm afraid of the pain, of the hurting. I'm afraid of being alone, of dying alone. I could take... Oh, what are you doing? Filling sandbags, Dorothy. There's a hurricane a-coming. A-coming? <laughs> That's right. I think he's been very unfair. We really ought to all stop going, then he'd have no sculpture. It would serve him right. Yes, it would. Well, all right then, girls. Let's make a pact. None of us will go back. And we'll seal it by both of you giving me your keys, and I'll keep all three of them safe in my hope chest. <laughs> And how do we know that you and your hope chest won't? That transmitter at the McDowell's tonight, there's a great movie on TV. What is it? In Cold Blood. It's about <laughs> this innocent family is brutally murdered. May I see that, Rose? Sure. 
Thanks, Pussycat. So what with our busy careers and full social lives, we felt we really needed a full-time housekeeper. What do you think of our home? Lovely. Last place I was had bars in the windows and a big wall with guard dogs. Sounds like quite a security system. The best. It all began when your great-grandfather, Nicodemo, was run down by Marco Venuccio's milk wagon. He ran him down in cold blood? Very cold. Grandpa was already dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was a gravedigger strike. So the family was using him as a temporary scarecrow. I would have expected my three best friends to understand. But I'm just not ready yet. But Blanche, the doctor said you could do everything you did before. That's all very well for him to say. The doctor's not me. Blanche, what are you saying? I've made a decision. Blanche Devereaux has given up sex. And the practically babies. Babies need a mama. Goodness, I've already raised my family. I don't have the energy to go through that again. Well, then, Blanche, how could you accept his proposal? Because it was a moment I'd been dreaming about, and everything was just so perfect, and before I knew it, I said yes. Only now I have to tell him no. <laughs> oh, my God, is that me? I look awful. Oh, that's my fault, Blanche. I was out of focus. You're always out of focus. No, I look old. I look decrepit. I look ancient. I look all shriveled up and wrinkled like a prune. It could be worse. She could look like Fess Parker. Oh, turn that thing off right now, Rose. Turn that off. Oh, Blanche, Blanche. Now, fail for 18 years, you and Charlie. Yeah, of course. Right after dinner. Oh. <laughs> well, no wonder you never heard of I Love Lucy. <laughs> of course, as it turned out, I was just overreacting. I mean, it was... I am looking and listening, and I... Can't help but remember that um, I've been in the room before when your wife called and you said you were alone. Then you were cheating on her. With you? Yes, but I've also been Bernice and had my husband call me, and he was always alone, too. You know, I was... About Aunt Jean and Charles Boyer. Oh, well, you know your Aunt Jean. She was always two steps away from the gutter. <laughs> looking at houses that may or may not belong to Lucille Ball. Well, I'm not spending my vacation in New York getting mugged and groped and insulted. I'll be happy to go anywhere they don't spit on Americans. Why don't you come with us? I can't. Stan called. He's stopping by. Oh, really? What's he gonna do? Bring you some more flowers? <laughs> it's the brother marrying a gay cop thing, right? <laughs> That's a big part of it. I don't see what the problem is. I think they make a lovely couple. Well, maybe lovely isn't the right word. They certainly make a husky couple. <laughs> that bull would have been jealous. <laughs> just wish somebody could tell me I've done the right thing. With yeah, Michael. yeah, you've done the right thing. Rose, tell me more about Charles. Rose, there's something you know that you're not telling me. You can ask me all the questions you want. You'll never break me. So you're not in love with this Eddie guy? Oh, no, Ma. Then why are you spending all your time with him? Eddie's a love machine? <laughs> How much is a new roof going to cost, Sid? Ten thousand. Well, how much is a patch job? Uh, a couple of hundred. Look, uh, can I use your phone? I gotta make an important call. Yeah, here. go ahead. We have to discuss this. Yeah. Dorothy, we don't have ten thousand. People usually are in this situation, Rose. Unless they're all dressed up in costumes. Sorry. What's all the commotion? Oh, boy. Grandma, this isn't what it looks like. Please, I'm 80 years old. I may not remember what... Why? I'm... You see, the guy that was moaning and screaming and groaning in agony was the parking attendant. He was coming after me because I forgot to pick up my keys. But I'm not afraid anymore. I know that when it comes right down to it, I can take care of myself. Oh, honey, I always knew you could. Oh. 
Hello. Uh, I'm Dorothy Zbornak. I, I have an appointment about the vice principal's job. Yes, unfortunately, my car broke down and I'm stuck here at the auto mechanics. Is there any way that Mr. Pratt could see me later this afternoon? Glorious, glorious. Jeffrey is a dream. It was even worth the guilt I felt over sticking Blanche with Stan. Incidentally, is she still speaking to me? She's not home yet. Oh, poor Blanche. Uh, when Stan is depressed, he is the second most boring man in the world. Who's the first? Stan, when he's not depressed. <laughs> he'd have a big, strong, strapping man like yourself. <laughs> oh, what cute earrings. Blanche, Blanche, did you really think that you could get us out of here by flirting with that guard? Well, yes, of course, if he'd been a man. Oh, sure, it's always a man. <laughs> I have a surprise for Dorothy. What? Now that you're off the blood pressure medicine, it's working again? <laughs> My God, Sophia, is there anything Dorothy didn't tell you about us? Actually, yes. I didn't know she was pregnant until four days after the wedding. <laughs> hmm. Seems you had a transfusion while you were there. The hospital thinks the blood may have contained HIV antibodies. HIV? Wait a minute. You're talking about AIDS. Oh, well, that... You want to be here, don't you? You've been having a wonderful time with Grandma, haven't you? Because if you haven't been, darling, well, we'll just leave right now. She's well, on. Showtime! <laughs> She's not singing. Why? Why? In the city hall and make it legal. Stan. Dorothy, it's fate. Divine intervention. The hurricane. Us pretending we're married. If God didn't want us to be together again, he would never have sent us a priest. I'm not a priest. Angelo, get back here. What do you mean you're not a priest? I cannot go on with this deception. Yes. Now you sleep well and, and I'll see you in the morning. I love you. Thank God, I thought you'd never shut up. <laughs> Come here. Okay, Blanche, you landed on sports. Here's the question. What famous football player wore pantyhose... That Doug wonderful. I could go for some cheesecake. <laughs> What is this, sarcasm? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Gordon? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> At least not until you're out of here. <laughs> Blanche, uh? Karen and I are back together. Karen? Yeah. He took me to the restaurant where he had met his ex-wife, Roberta. Well, I would think going to that restaurant would just remind him of her. It did, especially since she owns it, runs it, and calls the place Roberta's. <laughs> As she was seating us, he begged her to come back to him. And after he had wept over his crab cakes, I... can turn right around and spit in your face. I'm sorry, Ma. few months, huh? That should give me enough time to finish the scarf. <laughs> Don't worry, it hardly shows at all. <laughs> anyway, at Sonia's wedding, of course, without flowers, they didn't know what to do. I discovered that she was actually on the hayride with little Lars, not big Lars. She yelled, whoa, and jumped right off the wagon. <laughs> Michael, don't straighten up and give that boy the love and attention he deserves. I will kick your uppity butt till hell won't have it again. <laughs> She'll call us right back. She has to wake up the Yankee. Oh, absolutely nice. That's how much time we've wasted. Uh, the only time you're wasting 
is the time that you and Marvin should be spending together. You don't know what you're talking about. This is what Marvin wants. No, it isn't. Dorothy's right. What? I never wanted this. I only went along because it meant so much to you. Well, I only did. Where do you go to school, Michael? Well, college isn't really my style. I attend the school of life. Really? A lot of people go there when they can't get accepted anywhere else. Cute. Oh, Bridget, I know you're hungry after your trip, honey. I fixed all your favorite things. Oh, it looks delicious. Wait a minute. Where are the little wooden... And Ma, you were always a better bowler than I was. I know. I do everything better than you. Mmm. <laughs> if this sauce was a person, I'd get naked and make love to her. <laughs> Hey, Ma, Ma, you know that doubles bowling tournament is next weekend. What do you say? Either? I can't let that happen. I just can't. Oh, my God. It's worse than I mm. thought. Why, this is more baffling than the Paxton Osgood case. Of <laughs> course, Rose had to lie about the money, and now she's hiding some deep, dark secret about Charlie. Well, Blanche, whatever it is, it is none of our business. Come on, Ma, let's go to bed. What? Not a Yankee hands. <laughs> If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? Sometimes all night, I've heard her. <laughs> My point is, I am made up of many ingredients, but perhaps that is what gives me my uniquely American flavor. You march through my front door, a total stranger, and ask for my daughter's hand in marriage without telling me two words about yourself. What do you want to know? Do you have any money? Quite a bit, ma'am. Your mother, is she still alive? No. She is now. <laughs> Just a little something. Stop it. You know what I want to hear. No, I don't. <laughs> you played it for her, you can play it for me. But I don't think that I should... If she can stand it, so can I. Now play. <laughs> okay. You're the boss. It's a world of laughter. I'm going over there to kill her. I'll be back in time for Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Tramp, I know you're in there. Who is it? You can run, but you can't hide. Run, I can barely... Literary figures of our time. It's usually uh, Faulkner, Fitzgerald, and uh, Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Did he sign your book? Yes, but only after he refused to sign my thigh. <laughs> he was probably intimidated to see a thigh bigger than his. <laughs> Sophia, that smells heavenly. Is it Chef Boyardee? <laughs> Stick it in my heart, Rose. It'll hurt less. <laughs> oh, girls, I cannot believe how extravagant I've been. It cost too much money, but when I saw it in the window, I had to have it. What? what? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Rose, did you catch that? I sure did, my friend. Darn girdle. <laughs> The man refuses to curse. <laughs> Blanche, if you're going to insist on contradicting every opinion I have, I won't allow... Hey, you know, these peas taste just like fresh. But you can't mix them with the mashed potatoes. They should have a tunnel running from the pea compartment to the mashed potato compartment. <laughs> Ma, what is Pop talking about? What should you tell me? All right, all right. It's your 10th anniversary next month. Your father and I just... <laughs> Are you telling us that you got your date out of the phone book? Well, Blanche, you make it sound like I found him in the yellow pages. It's not like I don't... Can you believe, Ma? Trying to go to Sicily on my credit card? She would have made it, too, if her chef's knife hadn't shown up on the scanner. <laughs> you want to know something crazy? I actually feel responsible for this. If I... That buys stories about politicians who sleep with sleazy broads. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not about you. Uh, excuse me. Yes, ma'am? Uh, 
How would you like to go home for a little while and, and spend Christmas Eve with your family? Oh, I'd love to. Wait a second. No, if you trust us, we'd be happy to watch the place while you're gone. Ooh. Can you cook? Are you black? <laughs> Dribble on your mother's chin to lock her away forever? She, she's kidding. <laughs> and the candles, it was beautiful. And the mass was in Latin, a fine old Italian language. Mm. Now, who knows? Sometimes it's in English, sometimes in Spanish. If you ask me, they should go back to Latin, the language Jesus spoke. <laughs> Ma, he spoke Hebrew. How he did it? I explained that to you when you were 12. I can live with his apology. He's very sorry. He promised he'll never do it again. I don't want to end my marriage over this. Well, I think you're making a big mistake, Kent. Mom, Dennis is my husband, and if I can forgive him, then you should too. Forgive him? I cut back. Tea stains my dentures. Last night I had to soak them in Ajax. <laughs> They're white again, but my mouth feels like somebody should rinse their socks in it. You want a glass of milk? Nah, it upsets my stomach. Orange juice? Ah, too acidic. Is there anything I can get you? A cup of tea would be nice. <laughs> Miller dance? It wasn't really the Glenn Miller Orchestra. It was Dick Singleton and the Singletones. <laughs> Their motto was, if you close your eyes, you, you think it's Glenn Miller. <laughs> Believe me, no matter what you did, you knew it was Dick Singleton. <laughs> Platt polyester. Rose, you have something in a size six? Come on, Ma, I'll help you pick something out. <laughs> Must be Raymond. I'll be right out. I just have to get some hot candy and my donut pillow. <laughs> now, why should we take this poor little thing to jail? She hasn't done anything. Just because her parents abandoned her, does that mean we should too? Being abandoned is the worst. I know, I was almost abandoned. Almost? I was nine. It was the last night of the deep root vegetable lunch because, you know, she didn't want to gain weight. And then after lunch, she walked out of the restaurant and a gargoyle fell off the building, <laughs> hit her on the head and killed her. Oh, no. I mean, look at what her last meal was. <laughs> that is tragic. Chop, you have your nails done. You even color your hair. This is my hair's natural color. <laughs> yeah, and John Madden is a finicky eater. <laughs> well, Dorothy, I guess you might have a point, but plastic surgery is so drastic. I think I'd be too scared. Oh, believe me, honey, there is nothing. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I was afraid I'd have that dream again. What are you two doing up? Well, I'm waiting up for Clayton. I want to make sure he had a good time tonight. My brother and I are very close. Oh, that's sweet, Blanche. Evening, ladies. Well, Clayton, huh? Oh, that's terrible. I've never been so humiliated in my entire life. That's not true. What about the time you got caught with the Orkin man? <laughs> Don't comfort me, Rose. <laughs> All right, girls. Oh, Ma, come here. I want you to taste this. <laughs> well? Wouldn't it be easier to put a pillow over my face? <laughs> Kiss me, you poet. Oh, I know, isn't it romantic? No, it isn't. It's ridiculous. Ma, this is the biggest mistake you have ever made in your life. Fine. Don't come to the wedding. Who wants you? But just remember one... Waves on Biscayne Bay. I've grown so much as a writer since then. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> no, it's all right. Did you have a problem with my book, dear? Yes, as 
a matter of fact, I did. All those waves, big waves, little waves, dark waves rolling in. Page after. And so familiar. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> I thought the cleaner lost it. I told you the cleaner lost it. I took it. I needed something to go with my black sweater. This is my black sweater. I know, it goes great with my pearls. I got bad news for you, pussycat. You are. I made up your IQ. I wasn't the brightest kid in Brooklyn. So I lied. Did it help you get along with your honors class? Yes, but Ma, you lied to me. Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny. I've been messing with your head for almost 60 years. <laughs> You've broken my heart. I'm ashamed to call you my grandson. Now look what you've done. Bridget. I hope you're proud of yourself. Bridget, I am shocked at your behavior. Why doesn't everybody just calm down? Bridget and Michael are adults. They went out. They had a great time. It was nice. I wouldn't call it great. <laughs> Blanche, that does it. That does it. I have had it. Now listen, up until the time we started working together, you were my best friend. The reason we were such good friends was because you trusted me. Now all of a sudden, I don't know, you think I'm some other person, someone who'd stab you in the back. I am not that person. Blanche, I am still your best friend. Yeah? Maybe he could explain to me how the three-way bulb works. I've always wondered about that. <laughs> I've always wondered about the same thing, Rose. That and what Jane Pauley looks like standing up. <laughs> Maybe she can't stand up. Maybe Willard has to carry her. Helps for hours is bad for your eyes. Well, hey, instead of worrying about my eyes, I'd be more concerned with those purple spots all over your face. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Blanche. I'm frazzled. Not only is this due tomorrow, but I have to make sure this watch really is waterproof. <laughs> I want you to go slow and pace yourself. That's what I used to tell your father. The only thing he did faster than eat was make love. And in both cases, before I was finished, he'd pat his stomach and say, I've had enough. I wish you girls would help me get this house ready. Oh, well, let's see, I'm nine weeks late. It would have been two weeks before that, so about 11 weeks ago. Nine weeks late, and you just realized that something is wrong? Yes, I kind of lost track. <laughs> well, I think you better get out your book and find out what you did that week. We know what she did. We don't know with who. <laughs> Miles, what are you doing here? Well, not that it matters, but I was on my way to the Theater of the Living. I thought I'd uh, pop in and purchase a couple of day-old eclairs, which, incidentally, are for a dinner I'm making you next week. But the better question is, what, what are you doing here? What are these dandies yet? Dandies! I'm so sorry Helltown was canceled. <laughs> Frank, Frank, I'm sorry. I Please tell me that's a Nehru jacket. No, it's not. Rose, let's go heat up the lasagna. Come on. Rose! Was it the glass menagerie? That's correct for 100 points. <laughs> what innovative industrialist invented the assembly line? Willard. What? I'm sorry, I did it again. Sophia. Henry Ford. Jimmy, open the door. Dorothy, I'm so glad you came. Of course I came. This is a big day for you. It is. I... Can't live like this anymore. Oh, I am so happy. I am too. Hey, <laughs> let's celebrate. Party time. The answer might... For you, you let me know, huh? Well, you know, actually, I, I do have an idea for a new video game. Really? Yeah. See, there's this very old white-haired mother <laughs> who keeps talking and talking and talking. <laughs> and there are all these different ways to kill her. <laughs> I'm a psalm away from being a potato. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I gotta get up early tomorrow. I, I need to get to sleep, Dorothy. Yeah, you're wearing your toupee to bed. That means one of two things. Either there's a woman in your bed, or Suzanne Summers is on The Tonight Show. <laughs> Would you get to your point, Dorothy? I didn't come here to see you. I came here to talk to her. Dr. Zhivago is my favorite movie of all time! <laughs> introduce my friends 
No, 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 this is Dorothy. Well, Floyd McCallum. Oh, shame on you sneaking up on us like that. And in front of this young child, too. Well, Blanche, this is Linda. Hello, Linda, honey. Is your daddy taking you out to lunch? Well, Linda's just a friend, Blanche. Oops. <laughs> oh, Floyd, I'm just so embarrassing to my yodeling tapes. <laughs> when the driver behind me starts furiously honking his horn, I decide to be a lady and let him pass. And what does he do? Pulls alongside, shouts obscenities that would make Joan Rivers blush, <laughs> then speeds off down the street. Who cares, Rose? I got my own problems. <laughs> okay. How about when you were unmarried and pregnant? Ah, I remember your exact words. Get out of my house, you're dead. I have no daughter named Dorothy. Sure, in that tone of voice, it sounds bad. <laughs> but I'm supporting you now. Didn't I come here to live with you in your twilight years? Ma, these are your twilight years. <laughs> I seem to be clear. <laughs> he must have asked around this century. Where? Fine. Fine. All right. Bye-bye. What did he say? He said that he has something important he wants to talk. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Do you have a match? <laughs> I think so. Let's see. Here you go. I'd love to. <laughs> oh, hello there, Stanley. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> you just wait right here, honey. You will never guess what this impulsive, wonderful fool just did. He bought a fire engine red convertible, put it on his credit card. I have to get a wrap. <laughs> hey, dude, so... Way around. If for no other reason than to see Chevy Chase get his butt kicked. <laughs> you can't fight. You can't take a chance like that. Look, I have to, Charlie. I need the money for school. But what about your hands? What if something happens to your hands? Ah, they'll be fine. And after tomorrow, I'll never fight again. Or never play the violin again. <laughs> too little, too late, Miles. We're gonna jump out of that airplane. Hey, what do you want for dinner? Nothing too heavy. <laughs> But no hello? Cautiously and books only a ferry to Sardinia, saving the rest of her money for a rainy day. Well, let me guess, Ma. You were the one who chose adventure. You also would have said Baltimore instead of the New World. You're no good at this, Dorothy. I'm the girl who played it safe. He's recently broken up with his wife. And the good news is he has the heart of a 25-year-old. Hey, oh. that's great. Yeah, <laughs> as long as his body doesn't reject it. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. I can't believe I'm going to see Trudy again after all these years. Oh, I'm excited for you, too, Dorothy. That's why I want everything perfect. I'm making Scandinavia's oldest and most traditional appetizer treat. Cheese dialect. Actually, every town has its own dialect. Actually, every household has its own dialect. <laughs> this also explains why the Italian army is as effective as a Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> malinteso ma io posso rifare tutto cambierò questo garage in una stanza da letto he says he's sorry he made the mistake in a tent or a best western <laughs> a best western oh the vikings have always been a very progressive people <laughs> anyway that's when it's time for the husband to symbolically offer himself to his new bride on the plate Say, live with him? That's right, Sophia. Not marry him, live with him. Yes. yes. Two world wars, a Polish pope, and now this. <laughs> I may live to see CBS come up with a morning show yet. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Well, Frank... I'm sorry, ladies, but without a description, there's absolutely nothing we can do. But if you remember anything, give me a call. How about if I just want to say hello? <laughs> Dorothy! 
Dorothy. I'm in the ladies' room. I look at my brassiere. What do you think I find? <laughs> Does that for a lot of people, right? <laughs> I know you don't understand, and I know you don't approve, but I'm doing what I have to do, and I feel good about it. Well, thanks for everything. It's been great. <laughs> Rose. I'll see that all your... We're in the charm of a Cary Grant. I'm not surprised. The woman drinks grain alcohol out of a measuring cup. <laughs> Here's the tea. This is just hot water. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Were your exact words, Sophia, you can come now? We have room now? And were you wearing that hat at the time? Yes. Hasta luego, Dorothy. I'm going bold. Where do we draw the line? Right before the large bird thing. <laughs> Dorothy, she was just trying to help. And I never actually thought Stan sent me those flowers. You sent her flowers? Well, I had to get the ball rolling somehow. You have really done it this time. Now, I don't blame you for this, Gloria. This Fish stand at the beach. Shark! 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 Now they're out of the water. Start selling. You and I team up and enter, huh? No, I can't. I'm too busy. I'm sure I can find your partner, Dorothy. You're too busy doing what? Here. We'll be in Miami Thursday. Hope to see you. Respectfully yours, Augustine Bagatelli. Who is Augustine Bagatelli? No. For one child blinded your love for the other. But I think you did Dorothy wrong, and I think you must make it right. You better get to the shelter. What is this? Oh, the entrance is blocked. We can't get out. We're going to die. All right, don't worry. I have a plan. They taught me how to deal with Perfect for it. And the best part is, he's going to have it displayed at his big show at the museum. Rich, I can't believe you're actually going through with this. But of course I am, Rose. Laszlo is a world-famous sculptor. This is my opportunity to be immortalized forever in a classic work of art. <laughs> My Dorothy didn't date teachers in high school. She dated losers like Stan, who knocked her up and ruined her life forever. <laughs> it would be like a day without orange juice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Girls, guess what? They gave me another job at the television station. The Oops. <laughs> okay, let's go, ladies. Don't worry, pussycat. We won't rest till we get you out of here. Thanks, Mom. Who wants Chinese? I got her credit card. I got her credit card. My favorite little girl. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> it ain't gonna worry me for long. It ain't gonna worry me for long. I'll, I'll get, get up, up in, in the morning, morning and I'll still be saving my song. song. <laughs> Intimidating. This way, I'm just one of the guys. You think a lot of these kids, don't you? Oh, hey, so do you. Well, I do, but I don't know. I sense a special dedication from you. It's nice. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. I've been at this a long time. I, I watch these kids grow. I know their families. I've been to their homes for dinner. Really? You've been to their homes for dinner? I have. You know, I think you have a point there, Rose. Why, sure. You work with the senior citizens. You put in time at the daycare center. And you were the volunteer dummy for the fireman CPR class. <laughs> and don't forget that that program was my idea, too. Well, maybe you're right. I might have a small chance. After all, besides you, who else is there? <laughs> 200. Security, have this man removed. He's a lonely male impersonator. 210. What? What is wrong with you? The woman's been with lepers. <laughs> 300. Oh, come on, let's go to bed. Yeah, I'm beat. Me too. Me too. Uh, Me too. <clears throat> Ow! <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Okay, let's just fill out these forms. Your name? Brother Martin. Occupation? I'm a monk. Oh, good. I almost wrote down Trekkie. <laughs> what brings you to the hospital, Brother Martin? Well, I, I don't enjoy talking about it, but... Uh my fingers to the bone 12 hours a week at the museum. Picasso on your lap, snack bar downstairs. It's a wonder I'm not an alcoholic. What I meant was, how about working for me? I'm swamped with this project for Enrique Moss, and there is money for an assistant. Tell me more. Well, we're compiling statistics on... Modified, sort of southern accent. And then when we got picked up, I remember being in your office. And uh, I'd been thinking about how to play her and not play her Southern. And I thought, okay, so back in, in July, this was in March, I guess, that we did the pilot. Do we, do we have to do this now? A nun has died. More than a nun. Sister Agnes was my mother's best friend. Oh, she's out there alone now. She hasn't said a word since we left the cemetery. I have no idea how she's going to react to this. I've made a decision. Couldn't live with any of those. Look, I am perfectly capable of attracting a man who is charming, good-looking, and interested in personal hygiene. Are you gonna take this seriously or not? Blanche, are you all right? I'm stunned. I'm just stunned. Honey, what's wrong? As far back as I can remember, but somehow you were always there when we needed you. You got me through four years of college by helping me pay for it, but also by encouraging me whenever I felt like giving up. Do you want me to go on, Ma? Because we could be here all night. Enough already. Ralph Edwards makes less of a fuss over people. <laughs> Honestly, Sophia, to hear you tell it, you'd think all we do is fight. Hey, I didn't say all we do is fight. We also talk about sex. <laughs> We already talked about sex. I'm shocked. Correct. Please sit down. Listen, um, before I get Rose, let me assure you, she is the only one here who thinks she saw a UFO. No, oh, I understand completely, Ms. Bornack. By the way, is that Ms. Bornack or Mrs.? I'm hoping it's Ms. Well, uh, yes. And I was the only one. Oh. <laughs> Your date must have been horrified. No, her brother was a really good sport about it. <laughs> no, Trudy and I played a lot of practical jokes on each other. It was all part of a happy, healthy rivalry. Oh, I was the butt of all kinds. Much. I've never seen so much of everything in my whole life. I went to Bloomingdale's, the store. I swear St. Olive could fit into it. I went to the top of the Empire State Building. You know what I don't understand? How come the fall didn't boil? Good morning, ladies, and welcome to our show. I'm Guy Corbin, and this morning I've arranged something especially for you. Fresh ground coffee and prune Danish. Tiffany, why don't you tell them all about it right now? Got it. Go out with it. Dorothy, I need someone who's classy, someone who can handle the rich and powerful, someone not too obviously sexy. Why don't you ask Merv Griffin? <laughs> Dorothy, look, I called every woman. Well, then I guess tomorrow morning we can start to pack. Can't we? Yeah, I guess so. That's probably the best thing. Um, Dr. Ashley was right. Wasn't he? Oh, absolutely. Because, I, I mean, it doesn't mean we can't still be friends. You know, we'll... ...to the French club. But, you know, for the last 15 years, I've been asking myself, is that enough? And about a week ago, I answered myself with a big, fat no. Good for you, Isaac. It takes a special man to talk to himself like that. Well, merci. That's, uh, that's French for thank you. <laughs> and I have decided to enter a songwriting contest together. Oh, now, that sounds like fun. You know, I always wanted to write a song, but it's kind of like writing poetry, which I was never any good at. 
Only the tall girls who couldn't get dates ever seem to be good at poetry. You're hurting me. Stop that! Are you ready? I think you better go. Oh, look, look. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Really, I, I'm sorry. Uh, l uh, look, sweetie, you know I don't mean these things I say. Just leave. If I walk out that door, I'm not coming back here again. That's a problem. Oh, I'm going to miss you very much. Oh, I'm going to miss you too, Mom. Are you sure you won't let me drive you to the airport? <sighs> no, I'll be fine. <laughs> Dorothy, Sophia, thank you for having me. Don't thank me, thank my grandson. You were the one who told me to get a life. Well, I didn't mean mine. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to come in here and just take my place away from me. I would never do that to you, Dorothy. Do you see me going down to sing at the library? Well, do you? <laughs> Blanche, I'm, I'm sorry. I have... Ken, we're not proving anything by sitting here any longer. We might as well all go. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Does this mean that you're giving up when you've gotten this far? No, it means I can see the sun coming up over the Donaldson's house. It's morning. We made it. He's right. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, oh congratulations. Oh. I bet you feel oh. better. How many times do I have to tell you not to listen in on my conversations? About twice a year. <laughs> like your phone is ringing off the hook. Like you got such a full social calendar. You're the only person who ever got a refund on call waiting. <laughs> Ma, all right. Oh, Dorothy, high school reunions. Come on. Why didn't you tell me it was Father Leahy? Well, I assumed you knew. No, I didn't. I mean, frankly, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed. Yeah, well, me too. Well, what difference does it make? We can still be... <laughs> So I was hoping you could help me get comfortable on camera so I'll be ready when he gives me my assignment. You know, Rose, that's not a bad idea. This'll be the camera. And let me see interview Dorothy. Oh. Pop, that is enough. Come out of the bedroom now. Not while she's out there. She hit me. Ma, with a piece of bread. Five days old, it was like a jack handle. <laughs> he deserved it after the way he wished me a happy 50th birthday. Ma, what are you talking about? You're 48. That's what I thought. Our vacation. We thought you were going to tell her, Dorothy. Oh, well, I was waiting for the right moment. You know, like right after we landed in New York. <laughs> New York? I want to go to an island. New York is an island. No, I mean someplace where swarthy men who don't speak English rub oil all over your body. Great, then we can go for a ride on the subway. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything. Oh, don't you be a stranger now. Oh, don't worry. I'll come back tomorrow and get the rest of my stuff. Keep us posted. Let us know how you're doing. Don't forget, Tuesday we have mime class. <laughs> mime class? With that award. I'm sorry we're late, but we couldn't find the table. But then I recognized Dorothy's hacking. Everybody, this is Raul. It's a pleasure. Of course, Rose, you know, like windshield wipers. So they work. I assume so, yes. That's because you're hooked on these, Rose. But honey, there's a place for people with this kind of problem. Please, what is she gonna do in the NBA? <laughs> Rose, let us call a rehabilitation center for you. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I feel so ashamed. Everything you said about me is true. I'm, I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You just need some help. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Mrs. Nyland, I think a lot of... ...the story about Uncle Hurtis and the three skunks in the fountain, which should last about... 1,900 hours. <laughs> Dorothy, here's the transmitter. Just keep it in the palm of your hand, and then with one quick movement, stick it under the table. 
That's all there is to it. All right, so there any other questions? Can you get those, honey? Sure, Mom. Thank you for inviting us to stay with you. Oh, thank you for these lovely gifts. <laughs> what are you going to do with yours? It's a log. I'm going to burn it. <laughs> that three people could accumulate so much stuff. <laughs> Will you look at this? I got this doll on my 10th birthday. Oh, I can't believe I've kept her all these years. Her hair's falling out, her clothes are all worn. She smells of mothballs. Hey, I may not be Aunt Margaret, but I'm still your mother. <laughs> <laughs> And the shocker is, I lost out on the intelligence quiz. <laughs> Kel, surprise. Don't I know it? They asked me to name the seven dwarfs, and I did. Waited her prey. And what she didn't realize was the reason that Kendall went to her room. The reason Kendall ordered the champagne was to let her down easy. He'd already promised the job to me. And the reason he went to her room, rather than having her come to his, was that... I was sharing his room. Slut! I am. What the hell, you paid? <laughs> Look, I, I can deal with losing some of my memory. If I didn't have to remember what's her name over here, I wouldn't care. <laughs> but Sal was the most important person in my life. And scrapbooks aren't doing the trick. My laundry's more fun, Rose. <laughs> the only way I'll feel better about losing your earrings. Ever see panties from the 20s, Rose? They got pockets. Please, Blanche. Oh, I don't know. I just don't feel right. <laughs> you don't feel right about it? Well, what about me? What about the guilt that twists deeper and deeper in soil? <laughs> Good morning, ladies, and welcome to our show. I'm Guy Corbin, and this morning I've arranged something especially for you. Fresh ground coffee and prune Danish. Tiffany, why don't you tell them all about it right now? Okay. <laughs> hey, this is unheard of. We're halfway through the cheesecake and we haven't solved our problem. Maybe we can solve it. Maybe Ma's doing the right thing by leaving. Your brother is such a yutz. <laughs> I just got off the phone with him and he had the nerve to ask me what I'm making for dinner tomorrow night. Was about getting married? Yes. Or that I'm not used to being with a beautiful woman like you? Yes. Or th that I'm just a naive, inexperienced man? Yes. No. It's none of those things, Blanche. It's because I... ...potatoes without burning your fingers. No, it can't be done. <laughs> $12.95. Over half a million Zbornies have already been sold. Call this toll-free number now. Remember, with the Zborny, a day without potatoes is unknown. Was the gist of what you were saying before that you intended to cheat me? Cheat you? Rose, you just analyze everything to death. <laughs> Ma, where are my shoes? Another date with Mrs. O'Brien's husband? Now look, don't you start with me. Oh, hi, Rose. Out of the closet, I see. Yeah, I'm back. Look, I got a card from Ma. Oh, Dorothy, read it out loud. Dear Pussycat, I have everything I need, but it's hard to get a decent bikini wax. Oh. <laughs> but please, go along with it, okay? I mean, do it for me. If it means that much to you, pussycat, you got it. Oh, thanks. Now remember, not a word. <laughs> so what's all this crap about you putting a curse on my door? As you've said the same thing to me just that way ever since I was in the third grade. That's sweet. It's not sweet. It's pathetic. <laughs> 52 years and he never stopped off anywhere. <laughs> Get a life. So did you teach anybody anything today? Well, I tried, but it seems... <laughs> Old age. You don't leave fingerprints anymore. <laughs> I'm in my 
my twilight years. You're in the twilight zone. <laughs> Hope the Indians are walking. Out of the Canterbury Tales is going to come up in a huddle. <laughs> I agree, Dorothy. Saturday's game was a big one. And speaking as a former cheerleader and ex-bad girl in a health film, <laughs> I can tell you the importance of school-sanctioned extracurricular activities. Now, look, I want you both... No, I'm good for it. Listen, there's a horse that looks good to me at Hialeah today. Uh, Salisbury Shrew. In the second race, make it 100. Let's go, Dorothy! Oh, I gotta go. Thanks, Frank. To prepare for our roles, we must become cats. That's why I've been playing with your ball of yarn. And Blanche has been making those high-pitched screeching sounds in her room at night. You've been practicing for this part for a lifetime, haven't you? <laughs> Ma, let's see gray. These are black. I look like Buddy Holly. <laughs> You are. If you get in the kitchen and eat your slop before I spank that little pink fanny. All right, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's the way they used to call us for dinner at the home. This is just the operator. Your phone is working fine. Mom, what did you hear? You're never gonna believe what happened. You are never gonna believe what happened. Yakamara decided not to buy the house. What happened? Oh, well, he went on a shopping spree and he spent all his money. He bought a dump. They gave you a towel at the hospital. What hospital? You were born on a pinochle table at McSorley's Bar. <laughs> hospital, like your father was a member of the Etna family. The closest he ever got to a hospital was when he came to deliver ice. My guilt is not going to work. You're right, Dorothy. I was like... I would say, I always felt safe having you in the house. <laughs> and I would say, I always enjoyed talking to you when I'd come home from one of my numerous dates. Yourself, this is today's poll. Blanche, I never expected that they would figure out it was you in that picture. I felt terrible when they did. Well, how do you think I feel? People think I slept with you. Blanche. All my life. Doris. Okay. I want you to know I'm crazy about you. Are you saying you're upset because the reunion went great and, and your sorority sisters look wonderful? Well, of course not, Rose. That would be childish. I am upset because I was not the center of attention and nobody said I was the prettiest. <laughs> oh, come on now, Blanche. I mean, what difference does it make? Oh, Dorothy. You can... Welcome. Dorothy, I hope you don't mind me dropping by, but, well, I got an advanced copy of the book review, and I thought you'd like to see our article in print. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, let me read it. 19th century... I start to cook. A few hours later, he comes back. He says he couldn't find a cab. We eat in silence. Halfway through, I look up, and he's got tears in his eyes. He tells me, this meal is like our marriage. A veal is like him, tough and stubborn. Ah, it was real. <laughs> Dorothy, it's Stan. Didn't you recognize me? Of course I recognize you. That's why I slammed the door in your face. <laughs> Still the joke. You know, you are being very small-minded. You know, a wise philosopher once said, there are no small minds, just big heads. What the hell does that mean? I'm not sure. Come to think of it, it wasn't a philosopher, it was Rose. Quarantined, <laughs> we're in a real bind. How would you like to play Henny Penny? 
Well, I have enjoyed playing a hand in the past. <laughs> uh, fill us in. Parade, honeymoon, or religious ceremony? <laughs> Theater. The St. Olaf Masker's production of Hamlet. I don't right off recall a hen in Hamlet. In her case, the same thing. <laughs> Dorothy, you want to hear my idea? You won't believe it. Sorry, Blanche, I can't. What's the matter, Dorothy? Uh, I don't know what to do. I just don't know. I was in front of the class and I couldn't talk. I was too... All you have to do is find a rhyme for orange. What rhymes with orange? Cheesecake? Orange cheesecake. Orange cheesecake. I suppose that could work. I meant to eat, Rose. How come you're not walking at the piano? We're blocked. I've been having good luck with Tank, immediately followed by a granola bar. <laughs> The woman in those sketches is a dog. Blanche. She's a clown. Blanche. She's just a hideous, wrinkled old bag. Blanche, the woman in those sketches is me. I know she sounds like you, honey, but she's not. <laughs> oh, Rose, hi. Listen, I just picked up these pamphlets at a cosmetic surgeon, and I want you to help me decide which alterations I ought to get. None of these women have any tops on. Well, I know, honey. Oh, and Mrs. Montez found her cat. I bet she's happy too. Not exactly. She found it under a Jeep Wagoneer. <laughs> What's all that stuff? Well, I know how down in the dumps we've both been since Rose moved out, so I thought I'd buy us a little something to cheer us up. Oh, how sweet of you. I know. <laughs> this is for me. This is for me. <laughs> this is for me. Hiya, Ma. How you doing? Oh, 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 Ma, I feel dizzy. Oh, oh, there's a pain going up my arm, my chest. Ma! Oh. Will you answer the door, Dorothy, please? <laughs> Ma, it's my heart! My Your father. There was a rumor that he was a clown with Ringling Brothers. <laughs> but I never believed it. it. Just seemed too much to hope for. <laughs> Did you know him, too? Oh, I've asked and I've asked, and I've never found anybody who could tell me anything about him. Rose, I don't... What was you do that? I don't mind at all. Sure, Rose. Set a place at the table. <laughs> well, hi. What happened? Oh, we had the nicest time. We went to Joe's. You ever been to Joe's? Yeah. Yes. What happened? I had the stone crabs. I never had stone crabs. You ever had stone yes, crabs? Yes, yes, Blanche. Just tell us. Oh, well, I was just so relieved. Oh, wait a minute, pussycat. I almost forgot. I packed your lunch. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ma, you didn't have to do that. I wanted to. Besides, it's the exact same lunch I packed for you on your first day of school. Oh. Salami and a thermos of wine. <laughs> Remember to... That's exactly what I'm talking about. You should listen to yourself sometime. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. Well, then why don't you come to the meeting? Maybe you'll find something to make your life better. Oh, all right. Rose, if it'll make you happy, I'll go. Rose, me too. Oh, you won't regret it. Um, Stan, did you really mean what you said about there not being that much between you and Chrissy? That's right. I'm glad, because now I don't feel so guilty. What are you talking about? Stanley, I, I don't feel the same way about us as you do. You're kidding. No, you know, what happened the other night? So, what does that mean? Well, come on, if that test turns out to be positive, you're not going to want to be around me. You or Miles or anybody. No, that is not true. And I'm sure Miles will feel the same way. How going to tell you him. You don't have to tell him anything now. You're just going for a test. It's not just not perfect. John is everything Tom was, and he's smart, mature, responsible. And on time. Would you girls keep him entertained for a minute? I want to make sure I look perfect before he sees me. 
Hello. Hi, I'm John Quinn. Hi, I'm Rose, Blanche's roommate. Hi, Rose. <laughs> Won't you go? Bergen Plotz successfully matched a bull with a duck. <laughs> And how their daughter was a bulldog who ran a small tattoo parlor in Congo. <laughs> Honey, what's the matter? He did have to go to work. How else could we have paid for the operation? All I know is I was alone and terrified, and I have never gotten over it. I still have that phobia about hospitals. Well, it's about time you got over it. Blanche, get the keys to your car. We're taking Dorothy back to the hospital. Ma, I am not going. Okay, fine. So you don't want to go back to the hospital? No. Chicken, and he was a great singer, too. Gordon could cluck the scores of all the big Broadway musicals. I've heard a lot of poultry do show tunes, but nobody could hold a candle to him. Oh, of course, no chicken likes to be that near an open flame. <laughs> Good people. Oh, you know how I feel about organized religion. It makes me crazy. And I do not want Sarah's head filled with stories about a God who may or may not exist. Well, honey, of course he exists. Just look at the beautiful sky, the majestic trees. God created man and gave him a heart and a mind and thighs that could crack wall. What and say about the old olive tree? Although it's ancient and all, and not much to look at, it still has the tastiest, plumpest olives. Tashira, how about an olive? <laughs> olive? Look, I realize you don't understand most of this, but that's okay. Boy, that bull would have been jealous. <laughs> Rose, quite frankly, I don't get it. What is this hold that Buzz has over you? Oh, I know exactly what she's going through, Dorothy. First love can be very powerful. Out there. Is this what impressed you? Believe me, Dorothy, she's very bright. Really? I'm telling you, we were the only two in the bar who got the jokes on the cocktail napkins. <laughs> Dorothy, I want you to meet our attorney, Tracy. Tracy, this is Dorothy. Hi, de ho. <laughs> I've been thinking about your suggestion, Dorothy. You're absolutely right. The columns must come down. The new Hollingsworth Manor should be red brick Cape Cod. <laughs> Blanche. I... And, and they live in St. Olaf's? <laughs> yes. Oh, you, you must be very proud of them. <laughs> I am. So when was it you visited St. Olaf? Oh, Lord, it must be 50 years ago now. I went to a wedding. I'm sorry, go ahead. And the prince took the princess to the castle. And they lived happily ever after. The end. They didn't get married? That's implied. <laughs> Miami sorted sex scene. Who's to blame? That's her, she's the one. <laughs> Oh, no, this isn't about Blanche. And now that I'm associate producer of Wake Up Miami, I have to come up with topical show ideas for Sweeps Week. I need something that'll give us really big rating. You stop being an idiot. Bob Hope is not going to call, and he is not going to MC our show. What? What do you mean? I said he'd be here, and he will. Rose, Rose, this is not Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> you are a grown woman holding on to childhood fantasies. Bob? Oh, I just don't know. This is all so sudden. There's so many things to consider. Oh, look, Blanche, if you're worried about us, don't be. I mean, just because you're selling the house doesn't mean that we can't all find another place together. Oh, I wasn't worried about you. I was worried about the tax consequences of all this extra income. Community, uh, I'm proud to take cows for 300. The answer is a young cow that has not yet born a calf. Rose. What is a heifer? You're right. Still your board, select again. Cows for 400. Answer this time Loretta Young played an innocent milkmaid in this Oscar winning 1947 film. About this visit. Forget it, Rose. If President Bush steps in this house, I'm not going to waste an opportunity like that. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. You try 
and talk to her. Dorothy, if the president comes here, you can't... I feel like a lady again. <laughs> Takes so little to make her happy. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Blanche. Good night, honey. Rose, good. <laughs> Blanche, I don't think you're going to have to worry. It's not going to happen. Has anybody seen a small bottle of pills? Brown bottle, Patton's pharmacy label, your name on the prescription? Yeah. Never saw it. Ma. All right. Yesterday I was looking for the oregano and accidentally knocked them into the sink. I forgot all about it. And Ma. You told everybody but me? Honey, I didn't even know if you'd know what a lesbian was. <laughs> I could have looked it up. <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. I guess I underestimated you. Well, that's not important. I've got a bigger problem. I so, but you people don't. That's a beautiful thing. You also have the most gorgeous hair in the world. <laughs> Even when it's humid. Well, please, let Dr. Chang read. It's okay, Mrs. Zabornak. I'm finished. You've seen some wonderful doctors. But I really can't agree with their only problems, and you are... We are the world. <laughs> I'm Dorothy Zbornak. This is my mother, Sophia. We're here to talk to you... <clears throat> Hello? No. Come on now, I heard you laughing. What's so funny? For starters, Gina's a lesbian. <laughs> What's funny about that? You aren't surprised? Of course not. I mean, I've never known any personally, but isn't Danny Thomas one? <laughs> I'm not thrilled about my son marrying your daughter either. Oh, yeah? Why, you got something against black people? Of course not. And I resent the insinuation. Why, we firmly believe that all men are created equal. That's a bunch of baloney. Right. <laughs> well, it is. If you don't believe me, just turn on your tin model. Your daughter's a fashion model? She's just beautiful. Always has been. Gorgeous blonde hair, sparkling blue eyes. A figure men would mortgage a house for. <laughs> we were always so much alike. <laughs> And so close, just like Siamese twins. It's a shame when they separated you, you got both. Oh, no. You're not a substitute nurse, too, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry about your knee. You know, you wouldn't have been blindsided if you'd stayed in the pocket. You know football? I know everything. <laughs> ah, I see some people have already signed... Dollars. Five dollars. One hundred dollars. Stanley, what are you doing here? I'm buying a date with the woman I love. Oh, geez, not in front of people. <laughs> 110. What the hell is he doing? Didn't you give him a limit? <laughs> All right, Dorothy, what are we going to do about this? We are not going to do anything. Blanche, it has taken me a whole month to find this dress. You are simply going to have to take yours back. Oh, They'd be reasonable. This dress looks so much better on me than it does on you. Hi, girls. Oh, I love you. <laughs> when I had a severe attack of writer's block, my head was devoid of all ideas and thoughts. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> do you write? No. <laughs> Why do you ask? <laughs> Said... Presentation is very important. <laughs> oh, whenever I saw you coming down the hall with that ceramic bowl and a paintbrush, I'd run and hide under my bed and cry. Then you'd rub some on my doll. Why, they have a lot of talent back in St. Olaf. No, it's lunchtime there. <laughs> I could really go for a smoke kipper hero. <laughs> auditioning next. I'm next. Ma, what the hell are you doing here? I know it through my leather restraints and outram. Isn't this something, Blanche? 
Do you believe they gave us the same table? Well, why would they see this separately? I mean the same table as last time. Oh, of course. Silly me. Oh, and look, even the same chairs. <laughs> Blanche. Oh. They might also have tentacles on their legs so that they can suck all the blood out of our heads. Oh, I'm sorry, Rose. I'm sorry. Now, part of me is very excited, but part of me is petrified. I cannot relax with this. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to because Major Barker... And I risk this a long trip to see the both of you so much in love. Now, what were you saying? <sighs> Uncle Angelo, I, I wanted to say... Well, don't just stand there, Papa Bear. Come give Mama Bear a big bear hug. Listen. How could you have done this? Blanche, I'm a thief. Oh. Well, actually, I was a thief. As I was driving away this evening in your car, oh, for shame, I suddenly thought, what am I doing? For a few paltry jewels, I'm throwing away the greatest jewel of all. Oh, come on, what's on the list? Well, I think that completes the puzzle. Wait a second. Why are you asking me questions about our family? Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. You talk to my doctor. I didn't tell on him. He wouldn't tell on me. So I went home. Well, did he keep your secret? Till the day he died. Which was two days later. <laughs> found Millie and the Reverend skinny dipping in the church's fountain. <laughs> oh, I think this is wonderful. Oh. It was wonderful. It was, it was beautiful. It was romantic. It was just everything I dreamed it could be. Oh, Blanche, we're so happy <laughs> oh. for you. Well, don't be, because I can't marry him. He died visiting. That's what you tell her. Visiting. Right. Visiting. That's good. Oh, I just can't believe he's dead. I don't think she's home. It rang once. I have a problem. I'll say. <laughs> you should never have stopped using that depilatory. Ma, I'm up here. Oh. Ma, Rose isn't talking. <laughs> Look, Rose, I need the money. You're just going to have to trust me. Well, of course I trust you. You're my best friend. You can take everything I have. Well, don't give me everything you have. I mean, all I need is a couple hundred bucks, you know, so that oh, I can... Oh, you don't owe me any explanation. Here. I want you to... Two. <laughs> Much too subtle for this evening. Dorothy, put on something flashy. Some flashy, something colorful. Oh, that's really not me, Blanche. I know, honey, but take a chance. Be a woman. It's an awful lot to ask, Blanche, but I'll try. Good. Go on. All right, Rose, come on. Let's go see about... See how Blanche is doing on the phones. Blanche? Huh? Oh, nothing here, Rose. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait. I have a bulletin. The intensity of Hurricane Gill has increased dramatically. Several boats at the marina have been beached or capsized. Oh, and here's an item of particular... You're not a grown woman. Just because the plumbing's in doesn't mean the house is ready to occupy. I think I know what you're getting, Hep. Good, because I really didn't make that up myself. I heard it on this old house. <laughs> Well, I tried talking to my father, but he just went all crazy. Bald men sign. <laughs> I am talking about my recurrent dream. Remember, I'm trapped in an enclosed space full of bald men. Well, I didn't tell you the rest of it. All those bald men and I are on a plane and we fly into the ocean. That's a good one, too. Well, don't you care that they're fighting? Of course I do. You think I have no feelings? Let me tell you a story. Picture this. A crowded Mediterranean port, teeming with your tired, your poor, your hungry. You know, your huddled masses yearning to be free. We boarded the ship and... Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
proud of you, Stan. Really proud. That was a lovely thing you did. You made me believe in Santa Claus again. <laughs> me too. Oh, not me. I knew it was Stan all along. <laughs> After I walked out of here this afternoon, I realized that I'm more fortunate than a lot of people. Tomorrow I'm gonna get the... Which is why you had to marry that stupid, lazy, no-good pinhead of a prince. This man is a prince. Come in, Stan. I'm sorry I'm late. The rain really tied up the traffic. Hi, girls. Hi. Hello, Mama Bear. <laughs> Papa Bear... Ma. Sophia, you're here. And you have your suitcase. Does that mean you're moving back? I don't get it. I'm gone a few days and the dumb one's in there acting like a slut while the slut's in here being stupid. <laughs> of course I... No matter what you do, everything stays where it's supposed to. <laughs> now, when you lean over, it looks like somebody's let the air out of your face. <laughs> Honey, lean over a mirror sometime and take a look at yourself. Where's a mirror? There's one in the tool drawer. I have no recollection of Dreyfus since last Thursday. I have no recollection, period, since last Thursday. <laughs> Anything could have happened in three days. I just hope I'm not carrying Steve Garvey's baby. <laughs> Over there, over there, send the word, send the word over there, that the Yanks are coming, the Yanks are coming, the drums rum coming everywhere, say a prayer, say a prayer. Be proud of Dorothy for something, but I'm not going to kill myself if that day never comes. <laughs> But my parents called me Twinkle Toes. I call Dorothy Bigfoot. <laughs> that doesn't mean she has to make tracks all over the Northwest. What Ma is trying to say is that she loves me for what I am. That's right. <laughs> Pass me the tuffet. Oh, with pleasure, Blanche. <laughs> oh, I've been tossing and turning. I can't sleep. I don't know what I'm going to do about Jason. He's reached a point in his life where he's anxious to settle down and he wants us to have another child right away. <laughs> well, frankly, I don't know if I want... ...to meet the bachelor who picked me, and it was the Pope. <laughs> Boy, that is a tough one. Oh. Uh, where'd you go on the date? Oh, forget it, forget it. Good night, Blanche. Rose, what are you doing out? I thought you were asleep. I went out to get provisions. I figured we'd be up all... I'll tell you what, why don't we spend tomorrow afternoon together? We'll work on our bonding. I'll take you to Wolfie's for an egg cream. A chocolate egg cream? You betcha. <laughs> oh, boy, a chocolate egg cream. <laughs> forget it, Dorothy. I smell a pony ride. <laughs> Which sister is this, Rose? My younger sister, Holly. Frankly, I'm not too happy about it. This is a terrible thing to say, but I don't really like her. <laughs> we haven't gotten along since we were kids. <laughs> a crush on the teacher, huh? I had those. Of course, I had to hide them because they made the principal jealous. <laughs> Actually, though, once I did have a fling with the calculus teacher. Oh, and did you get an A? Uh -huh. More like a full scholarship to MIT. To prove our relationship, I'd be happy to oblige. Uh -huh. There is one small thing. Uh, in the morning, when you go out in your robe to pick up the newspaper, wear your shorts. <laughs> best when we're just plain divorced. I don't want to spend two years without speaking to you. No, we shouldn't, Stan. We share children. We share grandchildren. And I like slamming the door in your face. 
This is great. We should celebrate. Let's pop open a soda and make a toe. <laughs> Get him back. I want my teddy. But honey, she's just a child. You can't expect a child to give back a toy. Now you do understand, don't you? Just cut the crap and get back the damn bin. <laughs> Those are mine, Sophia. Oh, well, let me put on my big surprise face. I just wish there was something we could do for the poor thing. There is. I want to sort of... <laughs> Blanche has entered the room. <laughs> Honey, you think you're confused? Take a look at our horn section. Where is he gonna stay? Oh, well, he can take my room. I'll double up with Ma. Well, I was gonna stay with you. My cousin Milo's coming, don't you remember? He's going to be in town for the 14th Annual Hog Expo. <laughs> Is it the 14th Annual already? It seems just like... Say my prayers. Oh, Rose, God wouldn't mind if you skipped a night. He's very busy these days. Most of his free time is spent talking to Pat Robertson. <laughs> Hello, God, it's me, Rose Nyland. I'm sorry to be getting in touch so late tonight. I hope I didn't... I'll get it. Hello. Hi, Walter. How are you? Yeah, I feel like a caged animal in heat, too. <laughs> oh, Walter, you naughty boy. <laughs> Keep on talking. <laughs> Which I generally get applause. <laughs> Our next contestant is a family counselor. She originally hails from St. Olaf, Minnesota, where she was voted the girl most likely to get stuck in a tuba. Welcome, Rose Nyland. You, she's outside. She's bartering with the cabbie, you know. Imagine a man who would take cash over a rooster. Well, tell us now, what brings you all to Florida? Well, we are here to take our daughter back to Sicily for her wedding. Yeah, but Gina came with you. Gina is not out. Not yet. Oh, well, what did I miss? I think he has a right to know. I, um, told Rose the truth, Danny. It's too soon for you to have a relationship. You what? No, wait, could I say something? Caroline, you think your daddy has become involved too soon after your poor mother? Fine, Cupcake. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I know you're in there. Oh. Hey, <laughs> darling. I do feel something for you. I think maybe I always have. I knew it. <laughs> but I don't believe it's love. Not the way you mean it. The only thing we've talked about tonight and ever since I got here is George. Now, I love... Hospital administrator. But I'll never get it. I'm not qualified. I'm too old. What time is your appointment? 8.30. All right, let me see your resume. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. What's it? Oh, home ec major at Rockport Community College, six months at St. Paul's Business School. <laughs> Ma, I mean it. Lighten up. I told you before, I only want a license to have, not to use. It's a symbol of my freedom, my independence. Now, give me $50. <laughs> what for? A guy named Paco who makes these babies up in his garage. Oh. <laughs> Game without our star player. Rose, listen, I am getting sick and tired of being made out to be a villain simply because I play by the rules. Relax, it'll all be over tomorrow. Yeah, if I make it that far, <clears throat> I think I caught something practicing out in the rain. So did 
Why? Oh, gee, I hope none of the boys caught it. Don't worry about it. Those... <laughs> Blanche, are you in a good mood? <laughs> Dorothy, you always could see right through. Hello, Fred. Hello, Dorothy, Mrs. Petrello. Why haven't you returned my calls? There's nothing to talk about. We're not going away, Fred. All right, come in. Have a seat. <laughs> you still have no idea what I'm talking about. Nope. <laughs> oh, but I can't tell you, Blanche, how much I enjoy what I gave you. Does it say cream chip beef and Polish sausage are okay to eat? <laughs> Leonard, you're five feet six inches. You weigh 300 pounds. What do you mean you can carry it? <laughs> Beacons couldn't carry it. <laughs> okay, make an appointment for tomorrow. Come by the office. We'll talk about it. Right. Yeah, goodbye. How is it possible to get pregnant in Sicily just by crossing the street? <laughs> Cheap Chianti and narrow streets. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> My God, I'm hallucinating. <laughs> Well, period. Some things never change. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through with it. Well, good for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and thank you for listening to me. Oh, Victor. Come on. Let's get a table. There's something I have to tell you. <laughs> Sven, I have some bad news. Is it bad news? Yes, it's bad. Were you two the cousins who played the banjo in Deliverance? <laughs> Rose, what's wrong? Oh, that was the counseling center. I have to work today. Now who's going to show Sven the sight? Nah, Cesar Chavez. I got hungry. <laughs> They're giving you a hard time, too. Nah, I just can't pick out a decent nectarine. This way they do it for me. <laughs> Why don't you just ask for help? Help? You know who helps old boys like us? Boy Scouts and cartoons. We got to look after ourselves. They giving you any trouble? Uh, I, I can't get a... <laughs> How do you know those words? I guess it's from reading the American Journal of Abnormal Psychology. It's published in St. Olaf, you know. In fact, my Uncle Gunter used to be the editor. And what were you, the centerfold? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I refuse to believe you. They broke up. <laughs> but the Sonja von Kugel tuba band is free. Hi, I'm Jake Smollett from VIP Catering. Hello, I'm Rose Nyland from St. Olaf, Minnesota. Uh, these are my friends. This is Dorothy, and this is Blanche. Blanche Devereaux. Tights, unless he's got a butt like Barishnikov. <laughs> there he is. Dorothy, can I ask you a question? What do you think I ought to do with my bed? Put it in the Smithsonian, Blanche. <laughs> and it has more miles on it than the spirit of St. Louis. <laughs> One soul has asked me about my test. Oh, Blanche, we forgot. How did it go? Well, I think I passed with flying colors. But best of all, I told off that nasty old professor. Honey, congratulations. You're going to be a college graduate. Oh, we're so proud of you. <laughs> well, thank you, but I couldn't have done it without you girls. Oh, now you can get that. <gasps> Ma, you slept with him, didn't you? Ma, come over here. Look me in the eye. Did you sleep with Tony Del Vecchio? Oh. Have 
I've been to the airline office changing our tickets. We're leaving this afternoon. Where's Charlie? Uh, on the lanai. My mother is trying to help her put Barbie's hair back on with polygrip. <laughs> oh, Kirsten, you're back. I want to talk to you. Uh, not now, Mother. I promised Charlie I'd take her to lunch and then we have to... <laughs> they've been gone over four hours you don't think anything happened to them oh, no. i think they probably just stopped to rest yeah or maybe they're looking for something to carry the walls miles i'm sorry for all the trouble i caused although i love you very much i, I was scared of commitment I guess, in a way, I, I wanted to believe that Charlie was trying to contact me. Oh, sweetheart, there's nothing to be scared of when you're ready to wear the ring. I don't approve of you and Gloria, but if you honestly love her... You know, I don't think I love her. I'm realizing that maybe I was with her just to make you jealous. It was the same thing with the monkey. <laughs> you know something, Stan? I was a little jealous. Well, Dorothy, it's just an old traffic cone with a monkey head. Well, it is my production, and as they say, the show must go on. <laughs> oh, pussycat. It'll be like the old days. Come on, just one more time. Get a little drunk, and you land in jail. <laughs> Pull the plug. Rose Nyland, 43 years and I'd know you anywhere. Are you, you're not, could you be? Buddy Rourke. Buddy Rourke? Yeah. Oh, Blanche Dorothy, it's Buddy Rourke. Oh, come on in. Buddy, these are my two best friends. Well, you must be Blanche's sister. You must be blind. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's home just burned down. Well, that's terrible. Not to me. It was a retirement home. And you know what they did? They set off the fire alarm in a retirement home. Who can be? I'll get my purse. I, I'm Frank. I'm here to see Dorothy. You're the hunk. I mean, forgive me, Father. Uh, that is, forgive my language. Uh, uh, not in your official capacity. Sitting around the table where you read around the table with a lot of actors and all of a sudden I'm sitting there with Rue and 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 B and you had to be very careful when you'd read a line you better be ready you threw it over the net and you better be ready because you were going to get it right back that was the most exciting read through I've, I've ever together oh, I can't believe this is happening I maybe we better try Springfield he'd never find us in Springfield which Springfield aha <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as Miles and I are settled, we'll let you know where we are. No, no, Rose. I'm afraid we won't be able to let anybody know where we are. But we won't tell <laughs> Here we are. Oh, oh, I love your home, Mom. Oh, thank you. Well, honey, tell me, how's your modeling career been going? Well, to be honest, Mama, not too well lately. Mm. What have you been doing? You mean besides eating? Supply the sandwiches, you demand the money. Okay. Lesson number three, quit being an idiot. Oh, I thought you were Blanche. Once I thought I was best trimmer, but then they switched me to 20 milligrams a day. <laughs> I had a cousin who thought he was Jiminy Cricket. Of course, that was at the height of the Pinocchio craze. And I will have you know there is nothing sordid about my sex life, nothing. Great, now I'm depressed. You know what I hate about Sweeps Week? The news. It's sex, sex, sex. Why can't they do serious stories? Stories with political relevance. Yeah. Uh, but wasn't it great making fun of those who did? <laughs> it sure was. But come on, Ma. The truth is, we have done our share of fighting. Of course we fight. We're Italian. We like to fight. It's our way of showing love. Though, I don't know if there was a lot of love that time that we... Hi, Ma. Give me your watch. Time since I've taken you to the movies, hasn't it? <laughs> Blanche, 
This guy has gone past being a challenge. He is really treating you very badly. Oh, Dorothy, you'll see. I'm just reeling him in. Blanche, look, I usually don't talk to you about the men you date. Nor do I talk to you about the men you date. Oh, <laughs> listen to me. I made a joke. Thanks. <laughs> Emma, that's not unreasonable. Please, they're 85 years old. It takes Mildred 10 minutes to roll down her stockings. <laughs> Girls, you'll never guess what I got in the mail today. If it's another one of those adult toys in the back of a sleazy magazine, I'm not interested. <laughs> I am. Let me see it. Ma, they have me working in the careers and teaching booth. Oh, Miles is going to be there, too, speaking about teaching in college. Oh, speaking of career day is quite a responsibility. I still remember career day back in St. Olaf. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> Good to have... Decent nectarines? There's nothing wrong with those nectarines. Please, I got a bowl of wax bananas that'll be right before these are. <laughs> You're crazy. This nectarine. I start to cook. A few hours later, he comes back. He says he couldn't find a cab. We eat in silence. Halfway through, I look up, and he's got tears in his eyes. He tells me, this meal is like our marriage. A veal is like him. Tough and stubborn. Future. Now I'll go home. I'll hurt, but after a while I'll feel better and I'll go on with my life. If I continue this, I'll end up alone and I care too much about myself to let that... It's passionate and virtually interchangeable. <laughs> You know, Rose is right. Every year at this time, you start robbing the crate. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. By any chance, does somebody have a birthday coming up? All right. Yes, damn it. It's almost my birthday. And I intend to forget all about it. Daddy. Sheila. I didn't expect to see you here. Daddy, I just heard what happened, and I'm so sorry. I truly am. Oh, don't worry. It's my own fault. If I wasn't such a stubborn old now, fool. Now, don't be hard on yourself. Well, it's true. I never should have tried that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> he pinched me. It's a reflex. He's Italian. Adesso incominciamo con le cose semplici. We'll start with the simplest of jobs. Installare la finestra. Installing the window. Look, it's my marriage. I never should have come here in the first place. That was a big mistake. We'll be out of here first thing in the morning. If you change your mind, if you change yours. There's no reason why my mother shouldn't have the cookies. People from all over the county would drive up to Twin Oaks, that's the name of our house, <laughs> to ask Big Daddy's advice on one thing or the other. And while the men were discussing business on the veranda, the ladies would retire to the shade of an old magnolia to sip mint juleps and exchange prize-winning pecan... <laughs> You know, actually, this is one of the best Christmases I ever spent with Stan. It was pretty nice. I can't remember feeling this proud of myself so early in the evening. No, we did good. Just wish we could do more. Oh, so do I. I mean... What if I have to sleep outside in some park? You know, there's an old Italian saying for times like this. Scappa, to see my fortuna. What does that mean? Get away from me, you bad luck. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Drink this. It's a secret potion from the old country, guaranteed. The town started digging like crazy, kneeling by the grave, using their hands even, dirt flying and Beatrice screaming. And when they opened that coffin, there he was, dead as a doornail. <laughs> the news. They're sending me back. 
Oh, Mario, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, good. It's just, it's so unfair. I can't believe it. But listen, this doesn't mean that we're going to have to give up. We're going to fight this. There are legal ways to keep you in this country, and tomorrow morning we're going to find out. I feel so bad about what happened last night. I may have ruined an ideal relationship, and for what? Well, it's your own fault for cheating on Miles. <laughs> It was your idea. It's the execution, Rose. I said don't get caught. He was trying to, Rose. I saw Blanche's list. Get your cap, get your beard, and get moving. Rose, I had to stand in line for an hour to sit on his lap. Tough Holly. About. <laughs> You have no license. You're not allowed to drive. Curses. <laughs> oh, Dorothy Good, I'm glad you're here. I want you to help me to go through these papers I sent for. They're to authenticate my family tree. Oh. Well, tomorrow I have to present it out loud at the Daughters of the Old South. She started coming to me here, and the talks didn't stop. And she's not in the closet. <laughs> Okay, folks, that's it. Get out or get blown up. Dorothy, all my life she's been helping me, all my life. And I just don't know what I would do without her. Blanche, what are you doing? If they're going to blow this place up, they're going to do it with me in it. <laughs> Have our happiness where we can get it. That's the same attitude that broke up Debbie and Eddie. Eddie and Liz, Liz and Dick, Martin and Lewis, Rowan and Martin. Shut up. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Glenn. Hang up on that. Oh, say <laughs> Girls, I'm feeling a little chilly. I think I'll go and get my sweater. Oh, no, I'll get that. I'll oh, get that. Rose, Wait, for heaven's no, sakes, I can find my own way. I know you're trying to help, but if I could pilot my own plane cross-country during a storm, I could certainly find my way across the room. There. Now. Clever. Very, very clever. I can't remember hearing anything more clever. Unless it was last week on Elf when the cat next to... <laughs> I'll go get the after-dinner drinks. Barbara, I picked up your first novel the other day. Ah, yes. So dark the way... ...for a gift. This is the receipt for the diamond ring that you gave me on our 38th wedding anniversary. I know. You spent $2,500 on me? It happened to me. I wouldn't believe it either, but while I was being operated on, I had an out-of-body experience. I was floating, <clears throat> looking down at myself. It, it was like, it was like... Like the mirror on your bedroom ceiling? <laughs> competing like that and there's not even a man at stake. In Sicily, women compete for everything. The most famous example is the Great String Cheese War of 47. Why should I bore you with that? You all have college. Hello, up interview. We have very strict guidelines when selecting postulants. So we're going to put Sophia through a battery of psychological tests. It helps weed out the crazies and undesirables. Sorry, Ma. <laughs> Imagine Rose is trying to blame the whole thing on me. That woman has one hell of a lot of nerve. If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? I also considered auditioning for the actor's studio. <laughs> Why does every fighter become an actor? Just once, I'd like the other one. What is this old lady business? You're acting like an ass. You don't look 50. You don't look 48. You're as beautiful as the day I married you. Oh, Salvador. Tell me that again. You're acting like an ass. <laughs> Probably you're sick. Now, I want you to see uh, Michael Chang. He's a virologist on staff here at the hospital. You know, there are all kinds of diseases we didn't know about before. Look at Lyme disease. Harry, am I going to die? I'm afraid so. <laughs> 
You really think so? Sooner or later, I guarantee it. On trip. I remember one time Daddy took the whole family cross state on our tractor to visit Great Grandfather Zigbot. And... <laughs> Great Grandpa Ziggy was a famous inventor. He developed the first, and to my knowledge, the only low voltage meter that could detect what kind of a center a piece of candy had. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ma, three of these people are dead. Who are they gonna tell? Hi. Oh, hi, Blanche. There you go. Uh, Blanche, you've been gone three hours and you only got one guy to sign this petition? Well, give me a chance to freshen up and change clothes. I was afraid it might be too much excitement. <laughs> Did you have to help with the milking? Oh, yes, until my father got a milking machine. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for the milking so difficult machine. difficult <laughs> as it is to tear myself away, I really have to get rid of Cooper. Yes, me too. I don't have to be in till late to be living in my house. Sophia, this is my house. It is? All oh, right. Then let me give you two words of advice. Enough wicker. Uh, And then I want to lie in state and then be buried in Arlington Cemetery. Why Arlington Cemetery? Because it's full of men. <laughs> but they're all dead. So are the men I date. And I'm sorry I never tried acting. I always wanted to act. Coffee's ready. Tell me, Rose, do any of your kids still have their own teeth? I know it's a little sweet, but it's Kirsten's favorite. So what are you and your daughter uh, planning on doing this week? Oh, my granddaughter's never been to Florida before, so I thought I'd take them to Sea World and Gator World and Reptile World and, and Parrot Village. What? The parrots don't get a meal and black bananas. <laughs> Mom, I'll do that. No, you will not. You don't have to clean up after I me. I enjoy doing it. Yeah, why not double your fun? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hi, Blanche. Honey, how's your back? Terrible. What the doctor? How was the oh, trip? Oh, fine, oh, fine. Sit down next to Grandma. Oh, give me a hug. Oh, you too. You're so beautiful. You're so sweet. Oh. Can we go to Monkey Village, Grandma? Yes, darling. Talking about all the times we've oh, shared. It brought back a lot of great memories. Ma, I wouldn't be the same without oh, no. you. No. Hey, don't over dramatize. Things aren't so terrific around here. The hell they're not. Things are terrific around here. <laughs> you're dying, not when you're on vacation. <laughs> I've waited my whole life to ride Space Mountain and nothing, you hear me? Nothing is gonna stop me. <laughs> Why are you always taking her side? <laughs> some breakfast? Not if you're making it. <laughs> oh, come on, it's an old family favorite. Chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> Made with brown sugar, honey, whipped cream, and maple syrup. <laughs> what business did you have inviting my sister to live here? Ma, what are you talking about? You're the one who invited her to live in Miami. Yeah, Miami the city, not Miami my house. Am I missing something? You don't know Angela like I do. All my life, she always wanted whatever I had, even if she didn't want it. She'll live here a while, see how nice I have, and she'll try to muscle in. I'll find out why, while you boys and girls watch another very special adventure of Ricky the Flying Turtle. See you in a few minutes. Clear. <laughs> Freddy, it's been 16 years. When are you going to learn? Tuesday, it's Mr. Policeman. Thursday, it's Mr. Man. Well, isn't that something? You think you know somebody, then you find out something like this. Hard to believe. I'll see. To think Dorothy's lived with the Temptations. I've never even been to one of their concerts. <laughs> I was mad the day my parents brought him back from the hospital. <laughs> I thought he'd take their love away from me. And uh, instead, their love expanded, and we felt more like a family. 
I was mad at him when I was ten and he was four. And Poor me. Big Daddy's only been gone for a year. Here I am already selling off his things. Oh, honey, it has to be done. I know it. I just didn't realize how seeing these things would bring back so many memories. Like Big Daddy's Bible. Never went anywhere without this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you think it's easy to be cheerful around you, too? You know how many of these stinking hot toddies I have to drink to keep on a happy face? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm not speaking to either of you. And I'm not speaking to you either. Me neither to either of you. Fine. 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 My life. You're getting married, and you couldn't send an invitation to Stanley's born act, the man who gave you his name. I'm sorry. The list was alphabetical. The Zionists aren't speaking to me either. <laughs> Stanley, what do you want from me? Match your shoes. <laughs> Hello, oh, Harry. Oh, Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Oh, How are you, Frank? Frank, talk to me. What's going on here? Well, he isn't feeling very well, so we thought we'd have you over for a drink. And <laughs> see? Girls? Uh, would you all like to stay here with us? Here? Gee, that didn't even cross my mind. What do you think, Max? Well, there's no pool. All right. We'll stay, but only for a couple of days. Get the bags, pumpkin. He likes to eat breakfast. <laughs> Listen, check with me later about the weekend. I just want to be sure I'm ready and that it's right. I'll give you a ring. I can't accept jewelry. <laughs> I mean, I'll call you soon. I mean, I'll call you Rose soon. And I'm afraid if we make love, I'll kill you. If you haven't made love in 15 years, that's a possibility. <laughs> Rose, Rose, don't worry about it. Listen, I had to check up a couple of... Emerging from her morning toilette. <laughs> it's Lana with a message from Dorothy. Whatever the favor is, forget it. <laughs> Dorothy's Bornak, have I got a man for you? No, thanks. Had one. <laughs> you know, for two cents... You could get a better toupee. <laughs> okay. That's it. I've had enough. I'm not going on with this anymore. Angela, look. St. Francis of Assisi. <laughs> Hollywood tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, we would all be ready to... Mm. Grab that dough! Grab that dough! Grab that dough! Strongly recommend. Yes. <laughs> I owe you a beer. I'm gonna go make a few phone calls. I'd like to see some friends before we go back tomorrow. Where are you going? Back to school. Flying? Yeah. You'd be safe for hitching. Oliver, don't start. Hey, I'm a test pilot. Who knows better than I what goes on up there? Oliver, I studied all day and all night. And whenever I felt like giving up, I would just think about what kind of man you really are. And I'd study even harder. In fact, you made me so mad, I decided to get an A on this test come hell or high water. And I think I did. I, sir, am a lady. Maybe not the smartest lady in the world, but I do know that my self-respect is more... So, what did you think of the apartment? Too many old people. All those hearing aids interfere with the cable TV. Oh, you want a light? Those are very nice cantaloupes. Why, well, thank you. Oh, what a surprise. Well, my whole childhood, I kept hearing about the curse. How when I was 13, I was going to get the curse. 
Oh, I was absolutely terrified. The year of my 13th birthday, I slept with the lights on all year. Oh, I was sure there was a witch behind every wisteria. Oh, shouldn't. His cross-country skiing machine is in the shop. Yes, he should. He gets plenty, and I mean plenty, of exercise with me. <laughs> Checkmate. Hand the guy a fork. <laughs> Well, maybe I shouldn't, Blanche. I mean, the, this darn girdle is tight enough as it is. Feelander attempted to harass me repeatedly. What do you mean he attempted to? He worked at Lars Erickson's drugstore and tackle shop. He was a soda jerk. Now that I think about it, he was the town jerk. Every Saturday afternoon, I'd go in and have a Sunday. Well, Nils would arrange the ice cream. So you're ridiculous. In fact, I wish Janet were here to see how wonderful her mother and her little girl are getting along. I just know she's going to let her come back year after year. I'll go get the music. You'll be sure and get some sleep tonight, sweetheart, so you'll be all rested when we go to the zoo tomorrow. I'm not going to the zoo. <laughs> oh, come on, help me with these. We have to meet Holly at the movies in 10 minutes. OK. I am so mad I could spit. Rose, what happened? It's Holly. Those directions she gave me for meeting you guys for lunch were totally wrong. Oh, come on now, Rose. You don't think she did that to you on purpose? Well, I do. Mr. Belvedere is a humble servant, Stanley. You're a horse's ass. <laughs> hey, big guy. Everybody, this is Dr. Jerry. <laughs> Dr. Jerry. Oh, it must be great having just one name. Pardon me, ma'am, but what are you doing in here all by yourself? Who are you? Are you an angel? I'm the guy that shaves everybody. Amazing. That's not even mentioned in the Bible. Heaven sure isn't what I expected. Heaven? Ma'am, you're on an elevator and I'm... Oh, Rose, Miles called earlier. Oh, he must have gotten the ring. I, I sent it back. Honey, what happened? You were so happy about him yesterday. But that was before I talked to Charlie. What are you talking about? Well, I heard Charlie's voice coming out of Sophia. <laughs> no fear, I had to talk to her the last time. Uh, Blanche, not to doubt your stamina, but uh, don't you think those men are gonna be bored? Oh, of course not. Dorothy, tonight's a full moon. A night when men's passions, like the tides, are pulled to their high... ...general terms, and I make up wild, crazy names for my patients, so there's no way she could know who I was talking about. Yeah, but nevertheless... Oh, I'm... my God, I'm in the way. I can go in the kitchen. Why don't I go in the kitchen? You know, I used to worry that I would miss something, but that was before Richie. He's making me so unneurotic. Don't talk about me, it'll kill me. Appointment. She wanted to look her best for Charmaine's big day. Boy, Blanche is handling this a lot better than I would. I would kill Gloria if she ever wrote about my sexual escapades. <laughs> You'd kill your sister over a pamphlet? <laughs> so they're going to Hawaii for a second honeymoon? Well, sounds like they're trying to work it out. Why are you upset? Don't you listen, she has cellulite. <laughs> Those are dimples. Dimples are on these cheeks. Wow. <laughs> I am upset because while they're in leaf story. Please, Rose, if this is a story about a man named Leaf, I don't want to hear it. It's not that long. No. It has a surprise ending. All right, Rose, just the ending, but keep it short. Splat. It was me. I was playing a little joke on you. Hello, Rose. <laughs> One second, Charlie. What do you mean it wasn't you, Sophie? <laughs> Rose, Ma was playing a very mean trick on you, although now I can see the temptation. I didn't think you noticed. You hardly said a word all evening. Where are the other girls? Oh, they all went out to a movie. Uh, Simon, that's why I wanted to come back here. I, I wanted us to be alone. Ooh, baby. Uh, what? Um, here. I don't really know how to say this. I'm mad at you. Oh, well, I, I can accept that. 
if you're still going to give me another chance, because I still want to try to be the best grandma in the whole world. Does this mean I can start calling you grandma again? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> Uncle Angelo, I have a confession to make. Good, I get him a scotch and we go in the closet. <laughs> No, it's about Stan and me. You know something, Dorothy? On your wedding day, Sophia told me she said your marriage is never going to last. That made me very sad. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, let go. I'll tell you what. Here they are, Dorothy. Vincenzo's new work crew. Looks like the road company of Cocoon. <laughs> Outside on the lanai. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, here we are. <laughs> We're probably going to sit in these chairs. <laughs> Rose, why did we do that? Did it seem odd to you? Well, well yes, a little. But hey, you're the birthday girl. <laughs> you don't have to buy a yearbook dinner. <laughs> Rose. You can take a yearbook home to your parents. Rose. There's nothing wrong with having a yearbook on the coffee table. <laughs> Rose, this isn't a riddle. Well, make it one. I had three good at Dorothy, I may be a lot of things, but naive is not one of them. Face it. Your friend Jean is seeing a married man. Blanche, that is absolutely uncanny. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday. I set off the smoke alarm. How? Oh. Cigarette. Oh, no, thank you. I don't smoke. Now, how did you set off the alarm? I smoked a cigarette, you amoeba. I'm sorry, Rose. I'm sorry. I'm just so upset that I started smoking again. Well, why did you... Listen, I want you to think now very carefully. When you sent out those invitations, you did remember to tell everyone Sophia's really alive, didn't you? Blanche, I'm offended. I mean, how dumb do you think I am? I put it... I made the freaking... Oh, I'm fine. I was just thinking about what I'd plan to do with my share of the winnings. I wanted to get each one of you something special for being so kind and allowing a lonely old woman to live with you. Oh, so cute. Maybe if we went to a movie, it'd make us feel better. Can we afford it? Oh, come on. Now, this is... ...door into Ladies Petite and says, Oh, excuse me, miss, but I notice you've been having a hard time deciding between the turquoise strapless and the flaming red backless. Well, personally, I would like to see you in the backless. And I said, when? And he said, how about Saturday night? And I said, how about in your dreams, Sleezo? <laughs> My test is in two weeks, and I do not want to blow it. You'll pass, you'll pass. I don't want to pass, I want an A. You're the same as you were in grade school, A's. You always had to get an A. Your brother thought a book was to sit on. You always had to get an A. Good night. Good night, Mom. If I breathe and it doesn't matter with you two, you just may it. You don't even know each other. This is how the Eskimos do it, Dorothy. <laughs> Listen, whatever it is you might think you're feeling, it's just your hormones playing tricks on you. Ears now. <laughs> What a surprise. Well, my whole childhood, I kept hearing about the curse. How when I was 13, I was going to get the curse. Oh, I was absolutely terrified. The year of my 13th birthday, I slept with the lights on all year. Oh, I was sure there was a witch behind every wisteria. Two minutes. And please, keep it down. Don't worry, doctor. Thank you. Oh, God, Dorothy, look at her. It's the surgery. Nobody looks good after surgery. Tell that to Cher. <laughs> Please, Ma, not now. No, Dorothy, you're wrong. I know wrong. <laughs> I think I did a great job covering up how upset I am. Uh, you mean like how you started sobbing when Clayton asked for more fruit cocktail? <laughs> I really mind Clayton being homosexual. Make that two hours. Wow. 
Happy birthday, Ma. Actually, we never got to the party at all. So you lost a good friend just because George made you feel guilty about it. That's right. I lost a good friend and a wonderful companion and an excellent lover. <laughs> an excellent lover? Did I say excellent lover? <laughs> I meant in your earrings to go with this new outfit of mine. Tell me I look stunning. You look stunning. You're not just saying that. No, I'm just repeating it. <laughs> Blanche, I need to talk to you. Oh, okay. It's about a friend of mine. I think she's taking advantage of me, and I don't know how to tell her. Adults can do whatever they want to. Not necessarily. Adults aren't allowed to ride the little horsey in front of the A&P. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd walk. When I come to the next morning, just stinking the high heaven, I look down and I've got this scorpion tattooed on my belly. But it's nice work. You want to see it? No! Dorothy, where did you find him? He's disgusting. Well, but at least I have a man. Have one? Sounds like you swallowed one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? Matter of fact, I once had a dog, a schnauzer named Wawa. Yeah, well, I know that sounds strange. But you see, my daughter was only two when she named him during a walk. And I figured between that and number one, Wawa was the hands-down winner. Uh, he was the three wise men in the nativity scene at Burdines were wearing Ralph Lauren ski parkas. Catch me, catch me, catch me! Let me take a wild guess. You didn't expect us home this early. <laughs> Dr. Rose, I'd like you to meet me. He told me the truth about what happened. Well, I hate to say I told you so, but I did. I told you so. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry for, for not believing you. I, there's no excuse for my behavior. There most certainly isn't. I guess when it came down to it, I didn't believe you because I didn't... wanted cost more than the original down payment on my first house. In Sicily, beds were dirt cheap. Of course, it was because you slept on dirt. <laughs> Just an observation. If my name were Mark Twain, you'd be writing this stuff down. <laughs> Girls, you won't believe what happened to me this afternoon. But you always took him when you couldn't get a date. I don't have a date either, Rose. We can hang out together at the sweet table and guess people's weight. Oh, <laughs> I have a date, Sophia. It's just not Cousin Arnold. Good, I never liked your Cousin Arnold. Do you have a date? Anyone we know? Isaac. Excuse me? Isaac. Oh, hi, Ma. Anybody want a lasagna? I thought you made that for your gentleman friend. He didn't want it. He said he had lunch already, so I offered to go over to his place tonight and warm it up for supper. He said no. Sophia, honey, the key is to make a man think you're not interested. Do you huh? like some coffee? Sure. Yeah. How about some Danish? It's almost breakfast. Hey! You want some eggs? Sure. Yeah, do we have any bacon? Yeah, we got bacon. Yeah, yeah, scramble me a couple, but scramble some. Bacon, 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 five pieces. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're a wonderful woman, Blanche. No, if I didn't realize baby was such an inconvenience, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll call my relatives and see if somebody can take him off my hands. Him and the hundred thousand dollars. Remember, Blanche, the pig is going to drop any day. Rose, come back here, honey. <laughs> I guess maybe I was a little bit too hasty. About taking up sculpting. Really, Doc? Oh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> You said you'd like to help him mold his clay or buff his marble any time. <laughs> Rose, you're such a kidder. <laughs> what is sex? Rose. <laughs> and then for dessert, he took me to this most romantic little bistro. And, and while the waiter was glazing my peaches, Richard leaned over and took my hand. And you know what he said? What? Our biggest worry will be tank sweat. <laughs> Okay, Bernice and I had been separated emotionally for years. 
when I met Dorothy, and right or wrong, I've never been anything but grateful that that happened. What else you want to know about me? Sophia, I think it's time you stopped subjecting this nice man to the third degree. Hi. <laughs> Are you all right? I think so. I don't feel any sparks. Well, in this instance, I'll take that as a compliment. I am a little hot, but it's nothing I can't handle. Are you miserable? Oh, would you two knock it off? It's time for another world. You can't watch another world. And why not? Because you watched it yesterday. That's exactly why I have to watch it today, Dorothy, to find out what happens. That's why they always say stay tuned for the continuing story of another world. <laughs> too, bad. too bad last year. What did you do last year, Sophia? What are you deaf? She just told you. I tried to juggle eggs. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi. What's the matter, honey? Is something wrong? I'm concerned about nuclear war. <laughs> And last night was the first time you slept with Stan. Oh, now that's a lie. Oh, I see. So it was not the first time. Oh, oh, Dorothy. Dorothy. Well, get out of my way, you old fool. Dorothy. Why won't you believe me? And better yet, why does it matter? You're not married. I'm Vaxie, hotel security. Nobody touch anything. Oh. You say no one was in the room but her and the victim? That's right, sir. He's dead, all right. Steak knife right through the heart. That must be what killed him. <laughs> St. Olaf? She looked at me and hoped I would marry rich. Which I did. Very rich. <laughs> Why didn't she ever say any of this? She did. Who did she turn to whenever she's in trouble? Hmm? Who did she come to live with? Her favorite. You. You know, with all the work I put in on this campaign, I might as well run for fashion show chairman myself. <laughs> That's so funny. You, Rose, you can't be fashion show chairman. Well, you thought Giorgio Armani was a puppet on head so But I'd just sit here a little while longer and look at the Christmas tree. Oh, it sure is beautiful, isn't it? I think I'll stay and keep you company. I think that's a good idea. This has been such a pleasant evening. I hate to see it end. Oh, me too. <laughs> the... <laughs> How about I make us a little drink before we leave? Well, maybe one. Okay. Huh. I wonder how this thing works. <laughs> Just like the Jetsons. <laughs> now let's just sit up. Cheerful demeanor that we are talking to a new hospital administrator? <laughs> Not even close. Well, what'd you do? Take an antidepressant? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. But I was depressed. Incredibly depressed. I didn't know which way to turn or where to go. So I stopped in at the coffee shop at the Fountain Rock mm -hmm. for a root beer float to meet me. Oh, you scared me, too, but I told you you were welcome. Okay, okay, Oops. everybody. Get washed up. <laughs> Rose, I knew you'd get that job, so I made a special dinner to celebrate. Sophia, that's so nice. Don't mention it. When I was shaving my legs last night, it really made me feel good. That you were helping, Rose. That I can still touch my ankles. Call me one hour before he's supposed to pick me up in his brand new two-tone Mercedes. He's canceled our date for tonight. Well, he probably had a good reason. Oh, he said he had to go and visit his sick mother in the hospital. Did oh. you ever hear such a weak excuse? And his mother isn't in the hospital. Well, of course she is, but he can visit her anytime. <laughs> you know, we see Melissa is such a liar. Oh, she sure is. Since Patrick got into town, he's, he's been, been seeing, seeing me. me. <laughs> Places, everyone. <laughs> Big deal. More people get to kiss you than the Pope's ring. <laughs> Blanche, you have to go in there and talk to him. I will. I will. It's, it's just that I'm not very good at it. I, I, I was only blessed with one talent, turning men on. 
Oh, I can't tell you that. That would be unethical. Let's just say that some of my handiwork is prominently featured on NBC's Thursday night lineup. <laughs> now, Mrs. Devereaux. Call me Blanche. We're talking about tightening my behind and pumping up my bosoms. I think we can be on a first name basis. <laughs> What do you think now? Don't hold back. I can take the criticism. <laughs> Depressing. Awful. Stinky. Well, I'm off. If you need something to keep you occupied tonight, Rose, why don't you take out a good book and see if you can find Waldo? <laughs> I've never liked her. <laughs> Boy, one thing's for sure, that Rocco is a romantic. And there aren't many men like him left in this world. Blanche, what was the most romantic thing a man ever did for you? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> when George and I were courting and it was getting to the intimate stage, we went for a date. Most of the boys I dated in college were just for the stories. You must have more stories than O. Henry. I'm gonna unpack. Now, this isn't fair. You have to tell no, us. No, you don't. But if you go out that door and don't come back in, we'll know you didn't. And if you do come back, that means you did. With that award. I'm sorry we're late, but we couldn't find the table. But then I recognized Dorothy's hacky. Everybody, this is Raul. It's a pleasure. Unusual. Everyone, may we have your attention? We have an announcement. We're taking the prize. You mean we're getting married? Oh, that's right. We're getting married. <laughs> and we're taking the prize. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, this is crazy. just crazy oh, and wonderful. Anna Purchase was still an escrow. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. No one's going to see this dress. What do you mean? According to Sicilian custom, I can't get married unless I have you know who's blessing. Who? Dick Clark. <laughs> Dorothy, you idiot. Dorothy, your mother? Uh, of course it's our business. We're friends, we're roommates. I have no secrets from you. My whole life is an open book. Your whole life is an open blouse. <laughs> I better make sure we packed everything. Well, thanks again. Goodbye, Francis. You be good now. Now, don't you worry about a thing. You go ahead. What a beautiful little thing. Oh, yes. What is it, Rose? A boy or a girl? Of course. <laughs> I mean, is it... Fr Big hand. Girls, how are you holding up? Oh, fine, just doing Terrific. fine. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the big dance back in St. Olaf to kick off pretzel week. My Uncle Gunther, after the great beer nut shortage of 29. Foul, foul! <laughs> Two things in this world a Cecilia knows. When pasta sticks to a wall, it's done. When a body sticks to cement, it's dead. <laughs> Why did it have to happen to me? Enjoy it while it lasts. Now, good night. <laughs> Honey. Oh, hi, Dorothy. Honey, can I talk to you? No, go away. But I can't sleep, Sophia, and it's all because Rose isn't talking to me. I could care less. Now, get out of my room. <laughs> Sophia? I'm not in. Wait for the beep, then leave a message. Just read the clothes on the rocks. Not, not the dishes. No wonder they broke. <laughs> Okay, who wants to go shopping? It's a little early for that, isn't it, Renee? Then we're going out to eat. It's either shopping or eating. Take your pick. You didn't talk to him. I couldn't. Oh. George was on call all weekend. 
Three heart attacks, a... How do you remember all this? I tagged them for migratory purposes. <laughs> Dorothy, come on, the auction needs you, the children need you, please. Won't you reconsider? Oh, all right. It's only one night. I'll go, but I'll tell you, I really hate this. Oh, come on, Dorothy. That balloon man couldn't have been that terrible. Oh. <laughs> That's reverse, Dorothy. I did that once. <laughs> Uh, Ma, we did not get a VCR so that you could watch dirty movies. I'm 81. What are you worrying about? You Tail. At least you remember what's important. You remember the kiss. Our first kiss. Well, this doesn't make any sense. Rose, maybe you don't remember because you've suffered some brain damage. <laughs> Lewis, who is this person? Look, miss, sit. I sat for you long enough. <laughs> Dr. Bud, I came to you sick. Sick and scared. And you dismissed me. You didn't have the answer. And instead of saying, I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong. Oh, Blanche, that's not what concerns us. It's not? <laughs> We're concerned about losing you. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I don't want to lose you either. Wait a minute. I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you... <laughs> I just hate the idea of wasting time. I always have. Ever since what happened to my neighbor in St. Olaf. Rose, <laughs> are you about to educate us on the evils of wasting time by telling a long, tedious St. Olaf story? <laughs> Do you know a better way? <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you afraid of being humiliated on the tennis court, Dorothy? Me? Humiliated? I think you forget, Trudy, we have to wear tennis dresses. You're on, you pathetic middle-aged cow. I am looking forward to it, you miserable sack of cellulite. <laughs> By the Dear Blanche, I guess you know by now, I'm really sorry. The thing is, I really liked you. This time was different. You're a special lady. I'm suddenly so hungry, I think I'll get something to eat. <laughs> Boy, that was a close call. If I have to listen to one more story about the colorful people from St. Olaf, I think I'll explode. Ernest T. Minky was St. Olaf's librarian. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> was also our town's only dentist. He had his office right in the library. I really am. No, at first I wanted to give up, to die, truly. Only time I ever felt worse was when George died. But then I had the kids with me and I pulled through it. This time I thought, well, this is my last chance. This is my last hope for happiness. I just thought I'd never feel good again. How long is this story? I'm 80, I have to plan. <laughs> what a pigeon. <laughs> Oh, my God. If they want to make spies talk, they should force... Could I see that? <laughs> Next time, I'll ask you to hand me the candlestick. <laughs> Look, Ma, it's not so terrible if I go to the wedding alone. Hi, Rose. It's not fair. The thing's only a trap. <laughs> but now that you're dying, I mean... Please forgive me, Blanche. I didn't know. Please. I am not dying, Rose, but I might as well be. It's menopause. Well, I wish I could die, because as far as I'm concerned, this is the end of my life. <laughs> Billy and I get weighed together and we divide it. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice try. You're beginning to think like a fourth grader already. I told you it wouldn't work. <laughs> Happy Dorothy? Thanks to you, we don't stand a chance in tomorrow's game. Chick was our town beautician and one of God's most unattractive creations since the aardvark. <laughs> anyway, over the years, Olga had been secretly squirreling away money for plastic surgery. Well, one day she left without telling anyone 
had the surgery and didn't return for m something stupid or cooking something stupid. Rose, what do you think of Blanche saying these things? I think she's a Gurkana knocking. <laughs> well, what exactly does that mean? Literally, it's the precise moment when Dog Dude turns white. <laughs> that transmitter at the McDowell's tonight. There's a great movie on TV. What is it? In Cold Blood. It's about <laughs> this innocent family is brutally murdered. May when I they say that, Rose? Sure. There's <laughs> on this earth than, than most chickens do in a lifetime. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm making this up as I go along. Above all else, that chicken was a great entertainer. And a great entertainer deserves to be remembered in a special way. Yeah. <laughs> Ma, don't ever wake me up again. Dorothy, quick, turn on the television. Gil's press conference is about to start. Gosh, I'm nervous. I hope they're not too hard on you. No, I wouldn't be too sure of that. Look at all those reporters. Yes. I make them myself. And it's the perfect color for Stan. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, you crossed your legs. You lose another sticker. Oh, Rose. <laughs> Rose, these games of yours are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I can't think of anyone with enough control to... Before we begin... Bisogna chiarire un punto. Let's make one thing clear. Io e solo io sono in controllo. I am in charge. Io sono il padrone. I am the boss. Io sono il maestro. I am the master. Io sono la balena. I am the walrus. <laughs> it's a family tradition. It means the oldest niece has to give the eulogy. Well, not literally. Literally, it's a herring poacher you can wear as a sun visor. <laughs> the family got together and they decided that was close enough. Rose, I take it. This is the most underhanded, sneaky, practical joke anyone has ever made, and I have just one thing to say. Boy, have I missed you. Oh, oh, oh Trudy, Trudy, I've missed you, too. Oh, oh, oh. Wait just a minute. You two... The newsstand. What are you talking about? Don't you notice a difference? Can't you see the glow? Can't you see the light radiating off of me? Sure, it's the porch light glaring off your head. <laughs> I thought I heard a man's voice. Oh, it's you, Stan. I'm so happy you're all here. I have just had an incredible... If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? I also considered auditioning for the actor's studio. Why does every fighter become an actor? Just once, I'd like the other... ...have each other. And I'll tell you the truth, when we had the money, we did crazy, ridiculous things. To be honest, I'm glad it's gone. Girls, my cousin who took baby just sent us a letter. Well, please let there be catch in it. I can't stand being poor another day. Oh, I'm sorry. A celebrity auction is where famous people donate personal items yeah. to bid on for charities. Yeah, I mean, that's a great idea, Blanche, but it's a little late. I mean, how are we going to find celebrities to donate stuff and donate it fast? Well, I can pull some strings. It so happens I know some famous people. Who? Well, I don't want to divulge. <sighs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Oh, why did this have to happen? Just when I meet someone that I, I feel I have a future with, Ken does this. I mean, I know I should be more supportive, but the f***. <gasps> no. Yes. What exactly do you do in bed, Rose? <laughs> nothing. I do nothing. Well, maybe that's it. They have to do it all. Come on, Blanche. It's not her fault. She has a perfectly normal... This man, it was nice to meet you. Oops. Please, sit down. Ma, as you know, Stan's been having difficulty making it on his own. Dr. Halperin believes that you can help him in his struggle to separate from me. Sure I can. 
Stay away from my daughter, or I'll have your legs broken. <laughs> Ma, will you try to be... <laughs> we could have watched it all day, but visiting hours were only from 10 to 4. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I just kept tossing and turning, thinking about the terrible mistake I made. Blanche, you did the right thing. I'll call if there's any change. Come on, Dorothy. I'll take you home. No, I'm not leaving. Then we'll all stay. No, you go. Oh, no, we're not going anywhere. Look, I would rather be alone, please. Are you sure, babe? Would it be stupid to ask for a group hug before oh, we leave? Oh, of course not. <laughs> we agreed we weren't going to read any more of Rose's diary. That was only because we couldn't pry the lock off again. <laughs> then I remember we had these pliers in the tool drawer. <laughs> Gangway old people coming through. <laughs> oh, what is all this? Why? They didn't believe in anesthesia back then. They had a nurse hold a pillow over your face. <laughs> so the other patients couldn't hear your screams. <laughs> You had to pay extra for that. <laughs> Sicily, love it or leave it. <laughs> Visiting a tomb. <laughs> All right, contestants, time's up. Charlie, we're going to begin with you. Let's take a look at what you put down. <laughs> a Picasso with mozzarella. A Rembrandt with tomato sauce. I thought it needed more salt. And garlic. It's a little flat. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. Boy, the place is really coming along. Oh, boy, I'll say it is. I have to give you two credit. Oh. It looks like dry dishes with his feet. <laughs> <laughs> we used to laugh and carry on and have such a happy time. What is it with you people? All you ever had were happy times? It's sickening. Happy times freezing in the cold. Happy times during the locust invasion. Happy times eating reindeer. <laughs> How about death? They drop like flies around me. <laughs> Mrs. Nyland, you're not responsible for the death of my husband. I'll never date again. You will. I won't. I can't. In time, you'll forget this. Never. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> it's so... Jin! <laughs> Aren't you gonna get mad? No. You wanna play another hand? Nah, if you don't get mad, you take the fun out of it. <laughs> you still a go time. <laughs> Honey, now don't worry. Just lie down. Come on, get okay. to bed. We'll start timing the contractions. <sighs> I think one's coming on. Oh, 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 yikes! Blanche, cut it out. I'm trying to get some sleep. <laughs> My Becky is in late understanding. Who is buying? <laughs> How about Dutch tea? Great. I'll see you Thursday. Dorothy. Thanks. Ah. Girl who stood me up at the altar 70 years ago. And? And I uh, just asked her to be my wife again, and again she said no. Go on. And so from now on. No, Rose. Hookers. God, that must mean everybody here is... Everybody here is under arrest. This is a raid. <gasps> Bugs will make you hot. We got the big ones and the millions of them. No, but I think it'd make a great story. Old people living under terrible conditions. Come on, we'll stop at the station and see if we can get a camera crew. I for you, you let me know, huh? Well, you know, actually, I, I do have an idea for a new video game. Really? Yeah. See, there's this very old white-haired mother who keeps talking and talking and talking. 
and there were all these different ways to kill her. So I'm stretching this body for years. Blanche, sticking your feet out of the sunroof of a Chrysler New Yorker doesn't count. We have a beginner's class starting in 15 minutes. Ah. With some hard work, your body can look as good as mine. All right, we've been... Oh, come on, Gloria. That is the dumbest thing I ever heard. Dorothy, even with all my money, you have so much more than I do. You have Ma and your friends and your work and... <laughs> your life just seems so much more important than mine. Please, honey, don't be mad. I'll make it up to you, I promise you. What do you say I'll pack a picnic basket and we'll drive down to the beach? I'll spread a blanket on the sand, underneath the stars. I'll take you in my arms. I forgive you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Blanche should forgive you. And she can stay here until we find her a place. Well, that sounds wonderful. I mean, if nobody minds. Uh, mind? Why should we mind? <laughs> Dorothy, could I see you in the living room for a moment? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? What? Well, I'll never understand what Jean doesn't see in the opposite sex, but hey, if that's what makes her happy, that's fine by me. There's one other thing. Jean thinks she's in love with Rose. Uh, Rose? <laughs> Jean has the hearts for Rose? <laughs> I don't believe it. I do not believe it. You made it without giving away my present. Sophia, you stop trying to make me tell you. Relax, Rose. Dorothy already told me what it is. She did? Yeah, what a present. Boy, was I surprised. Dorothy, I didn't know you already told Sophia that her surprise was in Rose. The... <laughs> oh, be lives without men. Oh, who? Well, Ingle Lundqvist. Who was she, some Swedish lesbian? <laughs> She was a neighbor of ours. Not by chance the one who shredded her husband with some farm machinery. Yes. And she never remarried, and she led a very happy rest of... So sad. Well, I'm all set. What's with Satan's secretary? <laughs> Sophia, I believe Phil would have liked this dress. I did. He would have looked great in it. Dorothy, I never understood why your brother liked to wear women's clothes, unless he was queer. Sophia, people don't say queer. Nothing about leaving keys on the table. <laughs> well, I can't believe this. How did it happen? Well, you know how I like to meet rich men by gently rear-ending expensive cars at red lights? Yeah. Well, you say that like it isn't great. Rose, it's the perfect plan. You get to meet the guy, exchange addresses. At in a restaurant. Things we've said on our way to a restaurant. Things we've said on the way home. The two of you shared. We get it. <laughs> but who was I sharing with? If you say something to somebody who isn't really who... Squeeze the bird. His eyes will bug up. <laughs> Mr. Pet Shop owner gets very huffy and he won't let you touch the birds anymore. And the mice, he won't even Rose. let you in the room with the mice. Waits and counting the days. <laughs> Dorothy, remind me again why this was a bad idea. Oh, Blanche, be serious. Now, if we want to stay together, we're going to have to raise $10,000. Well, I don't see why I should have to raise any money. I didn't create this problem. I think the moronic Scandinavian knit... Please, I know you don't owe it to me, and, and I'll leave if you really want me to, but I'm, I'm just asking for a minute to speak to you. Won't you just give me that? wonder how he's going to try and talk his way out of this one. Doesn't matter. I know my... Richmond Street. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, Dorothy, thank God it's you. I broke my glasses at the mall and I can't see a thing. It, 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 it took me six hours to find my way home. Ma, if you couldn't see, why didn't you call me to come get you? I tried to, but every time I put in a dime and dialed, a condom popped out. <laughs> Ma, 
you were saying, Blanche? Well, it's just breaking my heart. I've never cared for a man as much as Fidel Santa Domingo. Santiago. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> The point is, he's rich, he's handsome, and we were made for you. Blanche. Rose, look, if there's $500,000 in the statue fund, why can't they just take 50000 of it to save the town? Because that's the statue money. <laughs> well, there won't be anywhere to put the statue if there's no town left. Wow, a loophole. Oh. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Dorothy and Stan. Bald man, son. <laughs> about my recurring dream. Remember, I'm trapped in an enclosed space full of bald men? Well, I didn't tell you the rest of it. All those bald men and I are on a plane and we fly into the ocean. Every year, and every year we end up with Miami's answer to Meryl Streep, Phyllis Amaro. She stinks. <laughs> oh, I thought she was terrific last year in the Diary of Anne Frank. Oh, Rose, please. During the entire second act, the audience kept yelling, she's in the attic, she's in the attic. <laughs> Every year they catch on quicker and quicker. <laughs> I love it when Phil calls me on Mother's Day. It's the one time a year he calls and doesn't ask for money. I remember one Mother's Day when I had to ask for money. Oh, Stan's business wasn't doing well, and we had to ask his mother for a loan. Oh, back so soon. Oh, the best possible thing has happened. I still have both my kidneys and my sister's fine. Blanche, how is that possible? They couldn't use my kidney. My blood vessels were too small. But of course they're too small. I've always been very petite. <laughs> Blanche, Virginia. ...give you swollen glands, sore throat, and all the other symptoms. Now, there are certain blood tests which we'll do, and if those results are abnormal, that combined with the exclusion of the other diseases will compose a profile that actually thousands of people fit. So I really have something real. I would say you most certainly do. But we should have our answers in a couple of weeks. I mean. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> in realizations, I learned that people usually hurt each other unintentionally. Therefore, they deserve a second chance. I hate you. <laughs> Nothing can bother me. Not now. I'm in a fellowship that accepts me, cares for me, and loves me. Lunch is ready. Hi. Did your mommy make up yet? No, not yet. Oh, but we will. <laughs> calm down. Oh, I'm calm. I'm just calm as can be. And you know why? Because my worst suspicions have just been confirmed. My stunning good looks are fading. Oh, the camera does not lie. And that leaves me with only one choice. I am going to be perfect. I'm going to be gorgeous. I'm going to have my tummy tucked and my, my butt... Lucy, we've had to recast Henny Penny. I'm playing Henny. Oh, and Frank's directing? Oh, what fun! I would love to! Oh, wonderful, wonderful! Then all we have to do is just order the costumes and change a few lines so that it makes sense that the two of you are playing those characters. Well, now, listen, Dorothy, since both of your housemates... It happens, even if we all get married, we'll stick together. We need a much bigger house. Oh, sure, Rose. After lunch, you can pick up the lumber. <laughs> Ma, you want to join us? Nope. I got a rest. I got a date tonight. Ah, uh, with whom? The fancy man and I are going to the dog track. <laughs> you must. Friend's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> Oh, Blanche, honey, I just wanted to thank you again for last night. Remember what I was thinking back then? I still look Fat Sullivan on Sunday nights. The scary part is, sometimes I find him. Ma, why can't you make me happy? I want to do this. Okay, okay, if a trip down memory lane is gonna make her, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii for two weeks and leaving my 14-year-old grandson with me. Oh, Blanche, that's wonderful news. What, you shouldn't be upset. No, I should be upset. 
How am I supposed to study for my French final with a 14-year-old in the house? It's hard enough with an 80-year-old. Hey, you were in location also, he said, but his eyes told me he was dedicated to me. Now, we both knew it was wrong, and we fought our feelings with ever bone in our hot, long, and writhing bodies. <laughs> Finally, it was just too much for us, and we gave up and checked into a Best Western. Didn't go tonight. Who needs the crowds, the hassle? You're sounding old, pussycat. It's not a hearing aid that makes you old. It's what you're becoming by not getting one. Think of what you're missing, all the things I hear. The birds singing, the wind in the trees, the sound of the ticker tape telling you Xerox has gone up to... <laughs> Come on now, be happy for her. She finally met someone. I mean, you go out with lots of interesting guys. Name one. How about that coach from the Miami Dolphins? Oh, yeah. That night was kind of fun. The training room, the whirlpool, the adhere to a saint, and I'm going to tell him to work less I'm lonely? Don't you think St. Francis of Assisi's wife had a similar problem? Don't you think she said, Frank, enough donkeys? <laughs> So what do I do? Ask George to cut back on his practice because I don't want to eat alone? Oh, no, don't do that. I couldn't possibly go to work. Uh, no improvement. Uh, I'm sorry. By the way, you're wearing your knee brace on your neck. <laughs> I know Ma is faking. She is not really paralyzed. It's only natural for you to feel that way. Maybe they won't come back at all. It happens. Oh, Ma, don't be ridiculous. Now, come on. I think you're just overly tired. Why don't you go to bed? Good idea. If that's Sports Illustrated, tell him to call back tomorrow. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yes. You know, every time you tell me you love me, I turn around to see who you're talking to. I can't believe it. Believe it. I love you. And everything that I used to worry about in... You know, I, I didn't worry about with you. Like? Like. Like. This stuff sounds a little better when you've got lapels and a vest. <laughs> anyway, my clients are charged with trespass. But the only real crime they committed was their overzealous championing of the defenseless dolphin. Oh, no, Rose. She's dropping off a manicotti with a file in it. Oh, girls, we're going to get to see Mr. Burt Reynolds. After all, I thought these beautiful tickets were all going to go to waste. <laughs> so, uh, which one of you isn't going? <laughs> well, I'm the one who won the tickets. Yeah, but my mom's the one who's worth of Atlanta. Daughter of Curtis Hollingsworth and Samantha Roquet of Augusta and Shreveport. Daughter of... I can't do it. I... Daughter of Feldman. I... Oh! Rose. Oh, Rose. Grow up. Grand opening in time for the big beach festival this weekend. Sophia, it's getting damp and chilly out here. You're going to catch yourself a cold. Please, I haven't had a cold in 40 years. This is the worst cold I've had in 40 years. My back is killing me. I feel dizzy and nauseous. Every joint in my body feels... <laughs> Sophia, how did you do? Great. Easily a personal best. Oh, tell us what happened. It was electric. The starter fired his pistol into the air, and like a shot, I left half my competition in the dust. Oh, you were that fast? No, it was the over 80 category. Most of them dropped from fright. Dress at 7.30 for a dinner date. So which one of you really is Dorothy's born? I am Dorothy's best friend, Blanche. I'm filling in for her because she's dead. <laughs> to California. She's afraid her husband might not have as much free time to spend with her anymore. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> The 
Um, uh, Mr. Terrific, I think that Lex Luthor and the Joker are harassing an old lady in the stairwell. Could you come in and melt them with your x-ray vision? <laughs> Mr. Terrific doesn't have x-ray vision. Please, Rose, this is no time to point out his shortcomings. <laughs> when we go to the movies, who always stands in line for the popcorn? I do. When we vacuum, who always lifts up the furniture? I do. When we clean the kitchen, who always mops? Dorothy. Who cleans the mop? I do. <laughs> She takes advantage, Rose, and it's time... Oh. You don't want the doctor to operate? No. Then it's settled. We'll do it here. <laughs> Blanche, go boil some water and get me a pillow. Rose, sharpen my Ginsu knife. <laughs> Dorothy, pick out a shoe you'd like to bite on. You, you're not serious. No, I'm just acting as stupid. Nah, he was a workaholic. I had the marriage you know, then two days after it was official, I left for America. Ma, why couldn't you tell me this? Dorothy, I went against centuries of tradition. You don't leave an arranged marriage. I disgraced my family's entire way of life. I think I'm finally beginning to see. Good. What'd she say? Uh, she says she wants to thank you for your gracious welcome. Oh, my Italian must really be rusty. I could swear she asked if you were a street walker. <laughs> Isn't she with V? We're using the household money to repair the roof and repave the driveway. Great. And what am I supposed to do while every other old lady on the block is watching Cosby? Well, you can sit in the new driveway and hope that an amusing black family drops by. <laughs> Maybe we could sell our old TV and you. Morning, Ma. Okay, good morning. Because I didn't think I could do any better. And that's why I went to that drive-in movie with Stan, and that's why I got pregnant. And that's why I got married. So what are you saying? If it wasn't for me, you would have married John already? I don't know, maybe. Well, maybe I would have met somebody else, somebody wonderful. But I'll know. She doesn't need that on her mantle. She's on her mantle. <laughs> At this time, the awards committee would like to ask Agnes's dear friend and our favorite runner-up, Rose Nyland, to accept the award for her. Up, it's after midnight. Sophia and I are going into business. How did she talk you into this, Rose? Oh, Sophia didn't talk me into it. As she said, if I had half a brain, I'd have thought of it myself. <laughs> Besides, it'll be fun, Dorothy. Just like when I was a little girl and sold Belgian waffles alongside the road. This is just great. I mean, everything this whole night has been nothing but fun. You really need to get out more, Rose. Come on, Dorothy, admit you're having fun. It's kind of like being on an adventure. An adventure? My foot. It's more like a nightmare. That ball past your hip. <laughs> Rose, everyone is finished and I checked the score. If you can pick up a spare in the last frame, we'll be leading the tournament. Consider it done, Ma. Go to it. Days have really made a difference. Sophia, oh, thank you. Dorothy, Rose, I hope I wasn't too much trouble. Don't be silly. No, we enjoyed having you. So did half of Miami. Ma. <laughs> That's it. I don't want to hear another word. Oh, Cinderella's back from the ball and her three wicked roommates are jealous. <laughs> we are not jealous, Ma. We are angry. You left us sitting in jail. Hey, I sent over the bail money. You were out an hour later. I think that was just about... Elements. No, it doesn't, Blanche. That's where I put my creamsicle down this afternoon when I answered the phone. <laughs> See, it rubs right off. 
lose you. That's why I made up those stories about the bank robbery. $45,000 was my life savings. I thought with that money I could... I could treat you like you ought to be treated. Like a queen. I can't believe this. I can't believe it either. <laughs> Comfortable with the people. I'm not comfortable with the whole thing. But you need the group support, oh. Dorothy. I mean, it's not a good idea to go it alone. Did I ever tell you about my cousin, Vigdor Fricken? <laughs> he tried to go it alone in a three legged race. Well, you know what happened oh, to please, him? Please, please, Rose, I don't want to hear. He's that. on a roll, and the blue team is leading 300 to nothing. Oh, really? Oh, shut up, Nylon. You shut up. Why don't you both shut up and answer this next question? For 100 points, complete this famous saying. Better late than... When? You shouldn't take him back. It's not just my opinion. We took a vote. <laughs> What kind of guy would you like? She's not picky. Yes, I am. Right, you could circle the globe without finding another stand. <laughs> Look, why do you care if I have a date? Family honor, especially at this wedding. What's so special about this wedding? Dorothy's goddaughter is marrying the grandson of Giuseppe. This is bad. A recurring dream. Night after night, I had this awful dream that I was trapped in an enclosed space full of men. <laughs> Now, what could that mean? <laughs> Let's give this a second. Now, wait a minute. There's more to it. Hey. Oh. Yes, Grant, you and it on Grab That Dough. Do you know what that means? Yeah, we're shafted. That's right, Sophia. The green team automatically wins a chance to grab that dough in our magic money machine. Come this way. Hey. A fast-talking pepperoni salesman gallops into town. Of course, both girls are impressed. He dates one one night, the other the next night. Pretty soon, he drives a wedge between them. Before you know it, the pizza suffers, the business suffers, the friendship suffers. It was a special occasion. Where I come from, $250 is five special occasions. <laughs> And a bottle of scotch. You'd think for all that money, they'd hang a picture on a wall. The minimalist decor is designed to enhance conversation. Nothing to look at? What's to talk about? I would think I would... 150 a month. Little problem. Rose, how could you get our hopes up like that? I mean, who has an extra $150 a month? I do. What? I do. We'll use that bonus check I got at work. But Don't you try and talk me out of it. <laughs> you had an affair with a priest. Priest? I didn't say he was a priest. I said he was a man of the cloth. He was a fabric salesman. <laughs> you know, we never made love again after that, but he did cover my lazy boy for free. <laughs> Wonderful, Blanche. The point is, something in his eye says he wants you, and I think he... And she's upset because Jimmy Swaggart can't cover his motel bill. <laughs> upset about Al. I don't know what to do. Well, I know what I'd say if a man asked me to sail around the world. Please, you can't get anybody to ask you out for a cup of coffee. <laughs> Look who's home. Dorothy, how was your cruise? Oh, honey, it was fabulous. Oh, Lee was absolutely charming. We danced, we swam, the captain let me steer the boat. Oh. Harry, it's not just a disruption to my life, it's seeing him do nothing with his. Look, Stanley, you took him in, now it is your problem, and you are going to have to deal with it. You're right. There's only one thing I can do, and it's the hardest thing in the world. You're going to ask Michael to leave your home? No. 
I'm going to ask you to ask Michael to leave my home. <laughs> That's because you're hooked on these, Rose. But, honey, there's a place for people with this kind of problem. Please, what is she going to do in the NBA? <laughs> Rose, let us call a rehabilitation center for you. No, I don't. I'm a little nervous about Jean. I mean, she's a very special person. I don't know if she's going to get along with Blanche and Rose. You mean because she's a lesbian? Oh, Mom, she's not a lesbian. I mean, what an absurd thing. How did you know? <laughs> I've known since you two were in college together. She didn't even know in college was paying attention. Oh, oh, we sure were. Especially Dorothy. She even talked about taking up sculpting. Really, Dorothy? Oh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said you'd like to help him mold his clay or buff his marble anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, you're such a kidder. <laughs> and sauce. Rich sauce with delicious seafood. Mussels, shrimp. Wait a minute. I think I switched from feud to food. <laughs> he looks very peaceful and... See about that. I wish you hadn't done that, oh, Blanche. Hush up. It was for your own good. There's something you just don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. I pushed you into meeting all those women. That's why this happened. But it is over. Rose will be just fine. Blanche, it's not oh, as simple. Oh, messages. Oh, thank you. If so you much. have to go out tomorrow, ask those crybabies not to call during the young and the restless. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Viner's depressed. Mrs. Gibson's despondent. Mr. Devalier's been deported. <laughs> I'll take a bus. I see. And when the bus gets to you don't know where, what will you do then? Get a job? Really? Yeah. As what? Secretary of State? <laughs> I gotta go. So you're just gonna wimp out, huh? I'm not wimping out. What do you call this? Why should I stay here when I get all this crap? <laughs> That's terrible, Blanche. If I were you, I'd take my dishonesty elsewhere. <laughs> they made me pay. $300 for a dress I didn't even want. Blanche, it's only fair. You tried something crooked and you got caught.
You and your daughter. <laughs> you should never lie to anyone. Okay, it was only three minutes, but still. <laughs> I stood there like a fool. Even if lying seems like a good idea at the time. Oh, Rose, what are you talking about? Is this about Kirsten? Oh, Kirsten wouldn't lie. Uh, you can put the luggage right there. <laughs> There would be fine, too. Girls, this room looks nothing like the pictures in the brochure. Oh, this room isn't good enough for you? Well, not for $100 a night. Learn. Picture this. Brooklyn, July, 1949. Ma, can't you put a sentence together? You sound like a sportscaster. Ah, oh, shut up. Anyway, it was the night of your first anniversary. You showed up at my house at 2 o'clock in the morning, crying and carrying on. You looked like hell. Almost finished the entire cheesecake. <laughs> oh, what the hell? It was a special occasion. Yeah, and it sure <laughs> took my mind off of Psycho. Uh, listen, these can wait till morning. Let's go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Grandma, upstairs. And is it such a leap of faith to believe that Ma was in the white light? I, why am I making it such a crusade not to believe either one of them? What, am I just a, an ostrich with its head in the ground? A... Hey, we're all artists, we're all misunderstood. He cut off his hair, maybe I cut off my hair. <laughs> he cut off his ear. I have too many earrings. <laughs> We gotta go. I hate to leave. I've never seen a show like this before. I made some nice hot cocoa. <laughs> now, Rosa, tell us how you got up the courage to save that eagle. It was just a bird. Well, what about saving that there school bus, huh? I just gave it directions. Oh, yeah, but there was a bridge washed out on the road ahead. Really? Your test results were fine, Mrs. Zabornek. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, sure, that's great for you, Dorothy, but what about me? <laughs> Rose, Rose, you used my name, you remember? Right. Friends, in this their time of need. And I can't believe that the two of you are so inconsiderate that you would disturb me with something this ridiculous when you know how important my exam is. If I don't pass it, I don't get my raise. That's it. Everybody out. Sophia, we're scared. I'm scared, too, that we won't be able to afford meat on the table. You want to 